Opa! Welcome everybody to Stavi's World. We have a great episode for you. Ari Shafir is on this episode straight from the slopes. And I want to remind you, we are almost out of calendars. The year has begun. You can still get your beautiful Stavi Baby official 2024 calendar on sale on our store right now. And uh, what's that? Uh-oh. Seems like we're making a lot of sales on our store. That's right. You know why? Because we use Shopify, folks. We've been using Shopify for years, and now is your turn to start using it too. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash Stavi, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash Stavi, S-T-A-V-V-Y, now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash Stavi. Let's start the show, Eldis. Opa! Welcome everybody to Stavi's World, 904-800-STAV. What a beautiful January day, me and Ari just hit the slopes. Yeah, dude. He's still dressed for it, I had to get out. You, you already know? jumped in the hot tub. I already out. jumped in the hot tub, <laughs> Elvis just rubbed me down. <laughs> my quads, my, qu- yeah, my, <laughs> my quads were all fucking sore from just hitting... Just changing directions, you know? Yeah. But I'll just rub me down. Yeah. When I came back, there was a heavy rub down going on. (laughs) (laughs) That honestly must feel so good to be in the fuck, hit the, hit the slopes, come down, get in the hot tub and get a a happy ending massage. But like a good, it's gotta be a good massage. It's gotta be first, you know, dude, that's all the advice I got from my happy ending people. They're like, hey, (laughs) you have the massage though. (laughs) They're like, you're gonna hear a lot of where to go, what not to go. And the rule is any place with a lock on the door is not a real massage place. (laughs) What what business in the world keeps you out besides diamonds? Um, Yeah, that's true. But they uh, don't want you stealing their ancient oriental techniques <laughs> you're gonna hear this shit. relaxing music for free yeah 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 <laughs> uh, but he was like yeah get, get the happy ending but you got 30 minutes before mm, minimum okay interesting get that massage bro i feel it yeah i mean look i would like i think what we need to do is get uh get like actual physical therapists who are cool who are and cool. they'll and they'll jack you off get chris stefano former pt guys you rub know. you down and jack you off, you know? Yeah. Get Let him get his nails done. Because really, you, you know, want the massage to be better. The jack off almost anybody could do. A right. Massage is tough. Yeah, you're right. The jack off is... up, down, is, up, down. Yeah. You know how to do it. <laughs> yep, yep. So, all right. This is our new business model. We, we, go, we buy... We go, we set up shop in a ski town, in a ski resort. Oh, love and it. And then we get a resort and then we offer hot tubs, rub downs, jack offs. All in one. Hot tubs, it, rub downs, jack offs. <laughs> and that's, there's a big What's blinking a sign. Yeah. Hot tubs <laughs> in uh, Whistler, PA, <laughs> or wherever. <laughs> what was the one in Maryland they wrote? Liberty something? Uh, that Li- was so icy. Ski Liberty? Ski Liberty. Yes. I never went. I'm, not, I'm actually, guys, you're going to not believe this, but I was joking. <laughs> we actually did not go skiing. Uh, <laughs> Ari just decided to dress like this to really highlight the January vibes. You it's are. January. You are a skier. You're an accomplished, or I don't know if you're accomplished, but you like I've doing broken it. broken multiple bones. Yeah, you probably suck at it, but you yeah. take ski trips. <laughs> I know I that. <laughs> you know who's the best and the worst is Ian Fidance. Get out of here. He's not good, and okay. he bombs. Wow. He's Bom- like, and bombs. Go. This is the one time in Ian's life bombing is good. <laughs> That's the thing. He happens. God, he, bombing is so in Ian's DNA so in that him. if you find a thing where bombing is good, he'll be good Sweet. at that. Well, I've already got practice in this. Yeah. Somebody, we saw like a, a, like one of the pit viper guys, and he was like uh-huh. one ski, like one up, one, and we we're yeah. like, wow, that's crazy. And Ian's like, I'll try it. And I'll he skied like it. four times. That's hilarious. And he's up with one fucking leg, yeah. smoking a cigarette with no helmet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just blur out Ari's huge bulge when when he next time he raises his. I'm not trying to get. I mean, we're already demonetized because we pretty much started this episode talking about opening up an illicit sex parlor, an illicit massage sex parlor, and we've got a we've got a retired Jews Why won't they old penis to make money in pampers. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, I've never been. I think I would love tubing, tubing just laying down and go down. Sled, like sled I've tubing. Never, dude, I've never done any kind of snow. They have that in activity City. whatsoever. Great. Just gonna. Yeah. But I'm worried because there's Bobby's store. I'm also fat as hell, and I wonder. I, ha- I have to. Well, you know, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about going too fast down and 
Bobby has that story about how he like broke his yeah, back or yeah, whatever. I saw it. Because it's like in front of his son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know this? So his son wouldn't know he's a fat failure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bobby took Max when they were like when he was like little. He was like maybe four or five. I don't remember. And he was like, um, "We're gonna go make memories," you know. And they go they go <laughs> tubing, and uh, and I think I think Max went first. I don't remember, but. Bobby goes down the thing, and it's not rated for someone as fat as the him. The velocity. So he blows past the, like, safety measure, like, goes up and just slams himself. And I don't remember what the injury was, but he, fu- he, he had flew, to, dude. Yeah. He got air. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> yeah, he and he had to Sandy. pretend to not be injured so his son wouldn't lose respect for him. And he was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. And then later at the hospital, I was like, you're definitely not okay. Multiple cracked ribs yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah. De- he's definitely not a walk it off kind of thing damn next time he's on we gotta we have to get him to recount that so yeah. that i had never thought about the downs that was the first time i was like maybe being fat isn't good you know no. that's the first thing i thought that's, that's the, the only, only thing time. you to avoid <laughs> yeah going too fat. that's the only negative but they part. serve you first at any restaurant right like, yeah, come you on, always no, get skip that line you always get shotgun growing up and everyone's resentful shotgun you know yeah. but they're like look this does make the most sense but it's fu- it's fucked up that he gets to do it every time people on planes will ask to switch away from you leaving yep. you in the open next to see if you're on southwest you it's it's awesome except for the like five percent of the time where it's a completely full, full flight yeah brutal stuff i this was both a mark of uh this is both a mark of um uh success and a deep failure when i was on a southwest flight and i hadn't i hadn't flown southwest in a while and i did the rookie move of going exit row because you know yeah. a middle exit row is still valuable yeah in southwest room at least and it was a pretty full flight it was like there's maybe like a handful of empty seats so fat that no one sat next to me, even in the exit row. Wow. And so it was a very comfortable flight, but I was like, damn, I got to get it together. <laughs> <laughs> but God did get me back because even though he was a very nice guy, the guy sitting next to me was a podcast fan. No. And so, okay. and so it was like, I did have to talk about, you know, is, have you ever been hunting with Rogan before? I did have to like answer a couple questions like that, but it was a very sweet guy. But, you know, when you're on a plane, you just want to be on an edible and play <laughs> some go, stupid you game on your phone. With Rogan? I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he literally, because I think, yeah, he thought, and it's like, I was on the show once, man. Like, yeah. it's not like we're best friends. He doesn't, he doesn't Keep think. Hunting, if you know what I mean. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, no, nah, I'm making it up. No. Like, nothing really. Nothing. I guess if you. If you really thought about it, the closest thing I'd come up with is he oils me up and then he tries to hit me with a suction cup arrow. That's what pig hunting would be. That's how I got on. <laughs> he made, he greased boy. me up. He could put a little fucking hog nose on me. <laughs> I just love it. like, let's the hunt begin. And you're like, Where, but where's my weapon? And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you think you got on because we like your comedy? <laughs> you're, the, you're the fattest comedian we know. Just stick antlers on you. Yeah, yeah. How do you think, run. Why do you think Tim Dillon such a recurring guest <laughs> he's one of the finest hogs we have <laughs> yeah tim smoking a cigar he's like i've graduated now it's your turn to be the hog <laughs> it's like bad news they fuck the hog at the end <laughs> I'm like, that's not fair he likes it i'm straight <laughs> he's like i like fucking twinks not getting fucked <laughs> All right, point taken. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna do the rest of the podcast. My one man show of the Hulk you're a, hunt. You're a terrible impression of Joe Rogan <laughs> yeah. being gay. No, no, Rogan. that was that was Tim Dillon. Oh, My, oh, oh, Alec oh, Baldwin was Tim, Tim Dillon. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I can't do Rogan. I was um, like, damn, that's a bad Rogan impression. No, Tim I was, was doing pretty Tim. dead. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, this is my Joe Rogan impression. Oh, you are doing the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do that too. I was like, yeah. oh, we're so happy you're here. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's me, Joe Rogan. Come on and enjoy the hunt. <laughs> uh, but yes. Uh, yeah, too fat for the Southwest exit row. That's too fat tough, for the Southwest. man. That's tough. That's your autobiography. Yeah. <laughs> Although apparently they're making, they're letting fat people get two seats, which I think is a big win for fat rights, yeah. and it will piss people off so much, which I love. Can we have a new character called Fat Rife? 
Fat Rife. I mean, <laughs> you could argue that basically is me. You could argue our careers are pretty similar. Yeah, it's like all <laughs> yeah. crowd work, special, all you two. Eventually, yeah. eventually Netflix takes yeah. notice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm essentially his, like, we're like the yin and yang of, uh -huh. like, hot guy, fat guy. Uh -huh. And there's other advantages. If you're hot, you get a bigger audience. But if you're fat, you get, like, people who actually like comedy and not, like, you know, what appears to be MILFs and, like, young women that want to uh -huh. fuck him, you know? He had plastic surgery. You desperately need liposuction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you were to pick who needed to be under the knife between us, you would have never guessed him. <laughs> you <were> like, <laughs> <Fat rife. laughs> yeah, dude. I'm excited. Yeah, I, I, I want to do a whole series of characters of comedians, like but yeah. with one fake name, and then it just tells the whole yep, uh, impression yep. after that. Yeah, my first one was uh, Crystal, uh, Crystal Leah. Okay. It's a female oh, pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice penis, you 16-year-old. Wow, are you on the lacrosse team? Just DMing a fucking a, a lax bro. But she'd be like 48, and yeah, she'd be like yeah, DMing yeah. like 26-year-olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come get that sugar mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at the highest ends, 26. <laughs> That's Crystal Leah. Who else we got? Crystal uh, Leah. Bobby. Fat Rife. Fat Rife. Bobby, Lee. what can we do with Bobby Lee? Oh yeah, we're gonna do Bobby Lee. It's uh, something subtle. Oh, I know Bobby Lee. Put him in it, make an Bobby Italian. Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a penis you can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> Come to my pizzeria and I'll shove a pizza up your up your asshole. This is good. We're really crushing it on the improv. The we two really of us are. today. Yeah, put all those people on the on <laughs> yeah. the uh, fucking thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh fuck dude yeah i've never i'm uh I'm actually, have, you, have you gone skiing this winter are you play, have any plans yeah what's well, your last ski trip we didn't be able to do a comedian ski trip this year we couldn't mm, get it together i'm bummer. pretty pissed but i got beaver creek i'm doing it a few days and i'm going to denver for like two, two weeks of the fucking the comedy works comedy works <laughs> They're like, move to the theater. I'm like, nah, that place fucking rules. I'd rather yeah, just do yeah. longer it's there. It's awesome. So I'll go skiing for a couple days there. I watch. respect that. So just a couple days of skiing and then you're Just and hella then shows. Yeah. Fun shows at the best club. Yeah. Working on stuff. Yeah. Maybe but just that, what a fucking fun crowd that is. Yeah. It's just like. It's no, just I love I love Comedy Works, man. And you know what? The downtown room is awesome. I really like the the one in the Burbs. The really, one, I do because it's there once. it's set up like a little theater. Yeah, so it's like, true. And it's got the positives of a theater, but it's close to you like a club. Whereas like some of these theaters, man, you don't even feel like you're doing stand up. Really, you feel like you're doing kind of like. It's set up for opera. You know what I mean? It's, it's set a up for strange thing in comedy now where people are intentionally doing worse shows for yeah. more money. Yeah. The, the the arena shows, literally no fan that's been to shows at an arena and a club prefers the arena. No chance, dude. And you're so, up. like, you're just going, like, I want to prove I can do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I get, listen, if it's MSG, yeah. play MSG once. I get once. that. Once. You know what I mean? When they come back, they do yeah. it again. They yeah. love that money. Yeah. Danny Brown says comedy's going through a brag phase. And it's Ooh. pretty disgusting because it doesn't go with comedy in any way. It, it goes with rap. That's a good point. That's a good point. We're supposed to be self-deprecating. Instead, we're like, check it out. No, you got to be a loser. private jet. I'm doing this. It's all fucking <laughs> rapper shit. Believe me. Yeah, I get that. I'll put, listen, I think a theater is cool, but I do think at the time where it stops, theaters, you can still connect the crowd. You, connect you just have to. You just have to do a little more work on it. Clubs just feel more natural, but you're right. There is... I do think the brag thing, it will collapse in on itself. It's going to. Because it's... Like, this isn't... Why, why? Well, I think it's just... Yeah, a little bit is like the quality just drops off and you have to you have to work really hard to keep that quality up. And I think some people probably do and then, you know, it's... But even that, it's like that affects your ability to then be creative because you have to worry about just doing a good show. Yeah. You can't fuck around. You can't, can't do fuck bits. You can't like... Um, and then also, I just think like that's the natural order of things. Like... Things boom, build collapse, too fast. Boom, yeah, boom collapses. Yeah, that was with the 80s. yeah, it feels like because I heard you know like you'd already been doing comedy when I was started. I mean, w big amazing racist fans in my in my house. <laughs> oh, I bet. That was that was the that was the subtle nuanced comedy me and my brothers were into when we were teenagers. A free boat ride back to Africa. <laughs> Not that one, the Asian one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the Chinese Remember the Chinese? We, wa awesome. we, we literally <laughs> watched that in my bed, in like my childhood bedroom, me and Eldis. Nice. Yeah, dude. Um, nice. But like, and we will stop. Sorry to the listeners, 
I'm doing the thing I promised I would never do on this podcast. I guess we just talk about comedy, yeah, but yeah, very yeah. quickly, we'll move on. We'll talk about Ari's penis, how he didn't get it sucked because he was going to be a rabbi. Yeah, that's good. I've been meaning to ask him about that. We didn't get to it on the Patreon last time. But just, um, uh, yeah, I just think, like, you, I heard of, like, a boom in comedy coming up. Everyone talked about it, and I was like, that feels weird because the rest of my entire... The closest thing to a boom was, like, when, you know, like, I don't know, like, I remember, like, the comedians of comedy and, like, you know, people were doing kind of, like, posse groups and doing theaters and, yep. like, and that was kind but people were still just working clubs, whatever. I ne People talking about the 80s when it was, like, you could just be a shitty comic in Boston and just make 40, like, 80 grand a year or whatever. Yeah. I was like, that can't be possible. And it does feel like we're living through that a little bit. Except, just like everything else in America, inequality has gone up. So it's really just the rich get richer. Sort of, yeah. But I do see, sometimes I'll follow like a venue that I performed at. So uh -huh. then I'm just like, yeah. I forgot to unfollow them. Right. So you see yeah, who's yeah, coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a bunch of like, I've never heard of right, you. I right. could be out of touch, but also like, there's just some guy with like regional celebrity. True, and, true. But also like, Get that money, bro. Get that no money. Offense. No, look, every even even like I'm happy for everybody cashing out because yeah. I do think it will end. It's gonna, it collapse. gonna be fucking bad. Be like, you know what? Most comedy I've seen kind of sucks. Yeah, and yeah. you're gonna be like, <laughs> yeah. yep, most most that's, does. That's what we're that's what we're in danger of. But yeah. anyway, whatever. Sorry about that. Me and Ari will talk about it later. Jizzing without fucking control. <laughs> 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 well, I did so. Because we want, I want to talk about it the last time you were here, but we just kind of got very general with it. Because I love the special, Jew was great. Thanks, buddy. But there's so, and but I was going into it being like, damn, Ari's story is so interesting. But you, I feel like you could do like Jew two. Jew, this could be a whole series. I have a Jew and A. I'm going to put out a Jew and A. <laughs> yeah, for real. I, I have love to edit it. it. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. all the questions I had. That's how I got all my material. Oh, I was like, I was like, I would do like 45, 50, whatever, and then I'd be like, hey, it started with like 30 at the fat yeah, black, yeah, yeah. and then I'm like. What have you guys wanted to know about Jews? I've set right, up a safe right, environment. Right, just right. ask me anything. Yes, yes, and then some yes. stuff would be like, that's not Jews. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah, why are they yeah. afraid of cats? I'm like, that's one guy you met. <laughs> yeah, Shut up. Right, right, right. And then right. others like, what's up with the wigs? What's up with the... And right. so I got a lot of my material that way. Oh, interesting. So I had this fucking list of shit that well, wasn't good enough for the special, but I have quick answers on. Interesting. And that'll be good too. That's really interesting. But like, I was really expecting like an even more personal thing because you really were in the fuck in the, in the, the... The highest I tucked away my the, yeah you, talk, you tucked away the payoffs, but you were in the big <laughs> leagues of being Jewish, where it's like you're, the big you leagues. were in the big leagues, dude. It doesn't get you know you were in the NBA and you were be you were studying to be a rabbi, right? Yeah, yeah. That's fucking crazy. And we talked about this because it was like I was in Baltimore and you were in what Silver Spring, yeah. Like so, we're 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 like forty Baltimore minutes. Had I don't know if I told you this before. Good. The first major league baseball stadium. The I Jews were allowed in. <laughs> <laughs> the Coliseum first, and then yeah. that didn't end well for us. But uh, no, they have a kosher uh, concession uh, stand. That makes sense. Yeah, but no, New York would make sense. We had a lot of Jews. I mean, no, tons did, in New York. And, I mean, I mean in definitely more in New York. But there was, there was, I mean, like, I went to a lot of, you know, this motherfucker especially, the the Baltimore County, they moved out Pikesville. of the city. They moved out Pikesville. It's yeah. all Pikesville. Yeah, but yeah. he, you know, he had a lot of, because he moved out to the county. He's a trader. I mean, he lived in a, in a shittier... I've said it. It's like it's, it was always great to have elders because it made me not realize how poor I was. Because there was somebody poorer than me that I knew. That is nice. There was there was a fresher immigrant that was poorer. So I was yeah. like, oh, I'm a fuck. I'm Mr. USA. Yeah. I'm Yankee Stavros in beautiful Greek town. But Eldis was by the park where <laughs> people were looks getting like he stabbed. found fabric and sewed into a shirt. <laughs> but yeah. his mom did like a great it does, job with it. It, but it does feel patchwork. <laughs> his mom was a seamstress. <laughs> your, was your mom Dolly Parton's mom? <laughs> His mom, oh fuck, I got water on myself. His mom has hemmed up, you know, da, uh, stuff for me and him growing up for sure. That's nice. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, the there, there was a ton of, there was a ton of like, you know, went to some bar mitzvahs, some bat mitzvahs. Um, so we, we knew, you know, we were pretty, as far as like a random city in America, Baltimore has pretty high Jewish knowledge. But I was just more fascinated by like just, I thought it was going to be way more about your personal shit. Um, I tried to make a mix. 
yeah of, of my stuff yeah and then also like the stories the holidays like what you might want to know but also like my experience with it right. i really try to like get an even mix sure so i would like take bits out i'm like too much personal right or not enough personal let me add something well i think i mean i think it was i mean obviously it was great but i think that's why you're i think you're poised for i honest not to give you fucking advice but i would lo i would just as a fan love to see a more just a personal one where it's like the second one's like all your shit because it is a bizarre you are a bizarre guy yeah, to do a complete bun yeah exactly complete 180 blurred out eldest <laughs> 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 that is yeah definitely blur it out but blur is small because this dick is big in real life so we got to disrespect him you know in comedy <laughs> dick is fine balls are there where it's at balls fat you have big, big, big fat hangers. i thought you had i i've it's the the word around town is you do have a huge pe or it's just fat, a it's fat cock. Fat cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. The, yeah, that was the first title of your Netflix special was Fat Cock. <laughs> yeah. And then Netflix was like, actually, Ari's already got that. No, and you're like, I've said it before. I wanted it to be Fat Little Slut. Oh but, really? But it's you can't search Fat Little Slut on the internet. If you're not getting your my my special's not your coming will up. Not come up first. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, but yeah, it's funny to do that. Like. <laughs> it's a, it's a <laughs> yeah. Fat rascal comes up way off. Fat, fat, yeah, there's much fewer fat rascals than there are fat sluts in the world. <laughs> a little slut is like really a category. <laughs> yeah, it's not just yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Good category. Great. I'll category. take a peek over there. That's definitely in the rotation. Don't get me the wrong. Smooth fat girls. The fucking 22 year old Latina <laughs> chicks hanging out in the mall. The fucking West Covina. <laughs> fucking that smooth fat. Let me get get over here, Maria. <laughs> yeah, dude. When's the first time you even saw Latina? Uh, I mean, you know, we, we all we had extensions on our homes. Oh, yeah. Well, you saw her <laughs> dad. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. I didn't say, when did you see a, a lunchbox of Latina packed? <laughs> yeah, probably um, College Park. Probably Maryland. Yeah, yeah. But so it's like you just completely grow up in that, and you're just going to Temple and shit like that. And sure, yeah. Everyone is just religious <laughs> as hell. Everyone's that. And ev everybody, all your friends are that shit. You're playing like... Are you playing like stickball in your little black <laughs> stickball? Yeah. I'm fucking <laughs> writing beach memoirs. I don't know. <laughs> we didn't it, grow up in the '60s. It feels, even though technically you're not Amish, it feels like being Jewish Amish. It is. You All my friends, I mean? when I met friends, when I had was still religious, and they'd be like, "I meet, meet them on Sunday." They'd be like, "What'd you do yesterday? Read?" Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I read. Yeah, under the under the lamplight. Under the lamplight, you can't do it by candlelight because you might fuck up and try to like mess with the candle. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah. don't even chance it. Don't even chance it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, what? Are, so then, what are you playing kickball in that little tuxedo? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How are you blowing off steam you as a very you Jewish child? But on, on, not on Saturday, really. Saturday's right. for the Lord, of course. But damn, what's the Lord? What do you even do on the? Is it really reading? Reading. You we play, play backgammon with my brother. Uh, backgammon's not work. It's it's no. joy. No, unless we made money on it, which oh. we did later. You ever play with the blacks over at Union Square? <laughs> I haven't played. It's great, dude. They're so much better the than you think they'd be. Blacks on Union Square, dude. They're so much better than you think they'd be. The best for like for like Why expectations to talent level. Good? Because I don't know. It's like they also play chess. You don't expect a fucking <laughs> near homeless guy to be great. I at chess. think he might be good, folks. That's Ari's opinion. <laughs> the best is Thailand. I'm in Phuket. And you're walking by some fucking whores, yeah. literal whores. And they're yeah, like, Daddy, yeah. Daddy, come inside. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, No, no, no. Do you want to play Connect Four? And connect they were like, four. I'll play Connect Four with you. They're like, Connect Four for beers. And you're like, mm. Okay. But I'm like, I'll crush a fucking Thai hooker. <laughs> Dude, I went to fucking, I was in Dean's List two semesters, University of Maryland. Shut the fuck up. I got a fucking 12, 15 SAT, the old one that mattered. Uh, uh, and nice then you start 1300. Yeah, what? 1300. New ones. They, had, they, yeah. they weighted it 100 yeah, points you're higher. Right. You're right. <laughs> um, they just, kids are so dumb in America. Like, let's just make everyone go 100 points higher. Same test. You just start with Hilarious. this 800 instead of a 700. Um, and so these fucking Thai hookers are like dominating you. And you're like, wow. what the fuck? And like, you know, we play connect for all day every yeah, day yeah why do you, you haven't played respite. since high school it's their respite from sucking like a <laughs> fat american cock yeah and i mean fat like fat guy not nice yeah. fat cocks disgusting. i mean like Where disgusting if weird little dicks chop through so she's gonna jungle. focus on connect four that's the highlight of her day i lost like six straight beers to these bitches and wow. then i realized it was only 40 cents total but yeah. like <laughs> 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 but it changed her life wow and then did you reward were you a customer too or are you just friends not at that place she was pretty not, gross no <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I got snookered into one. My buddy was there on a sex vacation. He got there before me. Uh -huh. I booked a fucking movie 
movie. I was so mad. I was like, can we arrange a shoot? You booked and a like, movie in Thailand? Like, no, oh, no. Oh, they, in America. That interrupted your sex vacation. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But my buddy was in sex hell. He had broken up with his girlfriend but was still living with her. So he mm. could like, fuck like once every two months and that's, that's it. That's brutal. So he got to Phuket and bang, and he was just like game on. <laughs> and he was like, I've already fucked four times since you've said. No, wow. it was like seven times. I was there three days later. Interesting. And so then we're walking by like, ooh, this one. And he jumps in and I was like, okay, let me do it. Yeah, but he got yeah. the only hot one. Uh, and then I did not tough. say, not interested lady. Of course. That you don't want to be rude. You're already there. Yeah. That's and tough. I'm, I'm, so she's putting a condom on me and she's mm -hmm. trying to ride me. I'm not really hard. <laughs> It's so hot. There's mosquitoes. There's dengue. It's fucking disgusting. And I'm like, I don't think anyone could do this in this environment. And then you hear from the stall next door because it doesn't even go up past here. Oh, wow. So it's, it's just like, like open air. Yeah, and then, exactly. And then wow. it's like a uh, little room, sort of massage rooms. Sure, sure. And then you just hear my buddy like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's orgasming. And I'm like, fuck, I'm fucking half a man. <laughs> wow, man. How many sex vacations have you taken? Was that your only sex vacation? I went to Tijuana with Bobby Lee. Okay, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Let's call him Bobby Free because he pays for the hookers oh, for you. what a good guy. <laughs> yeah, Bobby yeah, Free. There nice. we go. Yeah. What we, Bobby Lee and Bobby Free. There's two different characters. <laughs> uh, Don't worry. It's on me. Did you, tip, did you tip nicely? Yeah, that's what he told me. Tip, tip ahead of time you in Tijuana. Tip, yeah. Put 100 down on 72. Nice. So that's just for you. Don't worry about it. Work harder. Right, 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 right. You know, it's a tough job. They deserve... I tip my Uber guys, you know? You tip your... Oh, afterwards, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, after they suck my dick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tip the African father of four. I'm like, hey, man, you want to make an extra 20? <laughs> I can't get to Tijuana right now. <laughs> I can't get to... I've, I have wanted to visit Thailand. I'm trying to write a bit about this. Sorry, Thailand? Sorry to be doing my bit, but it's like... And I actually want to go because it sounds cheap and I'm a beach guy and it seems like a great vacation. But if you are fat with this hair, no one thinks you're going for a, for a wholesome <laughs> that, vacation. In Cambodia, you're There's like, no way anyone's like, oh, yeah, Stav's just going to check out the sites. Yeah, they think like, I'm your pervert friend. They think maybe girls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right. I'd be lucky to get yeah, away with yeah. just going there yeah. for woman prostitution. <laughs> That's a, at, at the airport, they're like, dude, if you can try, keep it above 12. <laughs> Jesus but Christ. use your best judgment. If there's a hot 11 year old, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Oh but God. just try. That's that's their that's the that's the speech the president gives the every is tourist. Disgusting. It's all 12 year old, literally 12 year old uh, selling Viagra at 2 a.m. Oh, uh, that's it's horrible. Like disgusting. Dude. Bangkok is one of the grossest cities oh in the world. My Chiang Mai God, rules, dude. Chiang Mai is where Chiang to go. Chiang Mai rules. Okay. Phuket rules. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of cool, but Bangkok is not one of those places. Get yeah. the fuck in and out of there as fast as possible. Yeah, I'm not. I, that sounds horrible, but I do like a little beach resort. Like I just want to be on a beach. I got spots for you. All right. I love and Thailand that. is your place because it's the entryway into Southeast Asia. It's the least foreign of all the places. Okay, cool. So it's foreign as shit, but like, of course, compared to like, you know, Vietnam or whatever. Yeah, or Laos or something. Laos, but yeah. like, but like, it's shit. still foreign. But like, but it's set up for tourism. Yeah. So it's yeah. nice. Nice. I love that. Yeah, I was. I used to be scared of going to Asia because it's so foreign compared to what so I know. Foreign. But it's like you get older and you're like, oh, let's experience something. I also went to Tokyo and that's a good like, Whoa. even though it's wildly foreign, it's so like, you know, it's such a cosmopolitan city that you can still get around by only know it, only knowing English. So that was kind of. How'd you like it? I loved it. Tokyo was When'd you go? incredible. I went, I went twice. Once I went on a very low level USO type tour with Marines. Cool. And some, it was like, it was like a funny business gig. It was like a, it was like a, a pretty, it wasn't a great gig is what I'm trying to say. It was just like a, you know, these guys that book like road work. But they get you out there. But they get you out there for sure. But it was, I didn't work for them, but Who, the Yoders? headliner was, yeah, it was the, it was the Yoder gig. It was the Yoders? Yeah, but oh. the, so the head, they booked the headliner and then the feature that was supposed to go with them got a DUI <laughs> and failed the like, the army's like background check. And then the headliner was like, I was like an open mic at the time, but he liked me. This guy, Bent Washburn, great guy, very Bent. funny. Yeah. Bent, yep, that's right. He's got a weird G in his name. Go look him up. He's got a bunch of free specials out there. He's legit very funny. He's funny. Um, and he just was like, hey, man, you want to come to Tokyo? And it was the year, it was the, it was three months before I was going to move to New York. Yeah. And it was like, it, it literally paid $750. It was free flight. But it was a free flight and yeah, free accommodation to Japan. And when you're 24, you're like, hell yeah, let's fucking do it. Those, those comedy trips, not to talk about comedy, but you get these trips these yeah. free trips That's places cool. yeah. that like you could never afford it or yeah. the time off. Totally, and you're totally. just like, this is awesome. And you're still fucking broke. Still but broke. Like, 
you're, I was on the road with Kevin Iso, and we, he was like, you know, the last time we worked together was a fucking festival in Switzerland. That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, yeah and I'm yeah. like, damn, that's right. That's no, it's, fu- it's fun just for experiences. And then when we were doing the Come Town Australia tour, we just decided to go to Japan beforehand. Because I didn't know. See, I was a little duped. I still blame Adam. He wanted to go shopping. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to go shopping because he has because you can buy clothes for a girlish man in Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. And so he was like, "Yeah, dude, it's like I had fucked my foot up and I didn't really want to walk too much." And he was like, "Look, it's a close thing. It's like we're and then we we go and Tokyo's fine. I didn't have a great time. I'll be honest that time because my foot hurt and it was like um, I it beca- actually it was during you were there where I fucked my foot up. It was the Skanks Fest." Basketball tournament, remember that? Oh, yeah, you fucking <laughs> cheater. You just got black dudes. <laughs> yeah, well, it was supposed to be a good bid because Adam and Nick weren't there, and then we just found two black guys to play with me. <laughs> just two, so we, that was, We're was, trying to see podcast versus podcast yeah, tournament, yeah, and then yeah. he shows up with two randos, <laughs> fucking John Morant and Zion It was Williamson. a good bit. It was but a good bit, but I like, fucked my. I fucked my. Good. I fucked, Everyone yeah. cheered for you to fuck your no, ankle up. No, just you, just you and noted 9-11 liar Steve Randazzi. Those were the two guys against me: a sex criminal from Thailand and a man who doesn't respect 9-11. Those were the two guys that were mad at me. Um, everybody else was very worried about my well-being. But anyway, um, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were there. out there in yeah, Long Island yeah, City. Yeah, but um, but so. <laughs> But I still, but it's still, and I definitely want to go back when I, you know. To the tournament? When I'm, no, not, I'm done. I'm, <laughs> I'm retired from Skanks Fest basketball for the rest of my life. That you can, that's for sure. That's a lot of bad juju there for me. But, um, but I want to go back because when I'm like prepared for it, because it's, I just want to go back with a little more time. And me and DeRosa are trying to get a gig there. Oh, that'd be sick. One in Tokyo, one in Fukushima, and then spend like two weeks. That would like be have awesome. at least ten days in between. So like, yeah. let's go where we want to go. Yeah, and I went there, and I went to um, uh, Okinawa and Okinawa. somewhere else in Korea. Uh, part of the part of the U.S. Tour tours in Korea, and it was great. It was like a nice little like oh, it's just like anywhere else. Stop being fucking close minded and just like you know go explore some shit. So. I want to um, go. I've never been. You've never been to Japan? No, oh. Yeah, and definitely not Tokyo. And that's one of those cities. Almost everywhere, like, big city is a big city, except for a few places. Tokyo, New York. Tokyo, New York, Paris. Paris. People say London. I haven't been to London. Nah. No. Wrong. <laughs> wrong, really. Yeah. I think London and Chicago are not that dissimilar. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I like any city that has its own vibe. Like, New Orleans, even though it's not one New of the great Orleans, cities. for sure. It it's has its own, its own vibe. I mean, yeah. I'll go to town for... I'll go to Bath for Athens because it's like... You have the like the Parthenon right there. It's got like its own weird. Can vibe. I tell you what I? I Please. think I went to Greece since I came here. Oh, prob- Oh, sick. Yes, we were talking about it. Athens is so much more. I'm sure you heard about the Parthenon and all that yeah, shit, yeah, right? Yeah. It's so like, um, what's the word? It's so like, um, uh, f- uh, f- you- like an outsider. The, the graffiti everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's anarchist. It That's is. the word oh, I'm for looking sure, for. for sure. If you just get out of that part, like yeah. over the thing and through, yeah, the, through, yeah, the, yeah. through the park, yep. and then you're just like, oh, this is all anarchy. This is all like like down with like the real version of, uh, of um, who's that group that always like start, stops traffic? Oh, uh, what are you talking about? They always try to beat up old people for driving their cars. <laughs> That's whatever you're describing. You're describing it wrong. I'm for describing sure. it wrong. It was <laughs> on like, purpose. It, was like it sounds the, like you're having a real Antifa. Fox News take Antifa. on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always yeah. the videos of some like new Antifa guy going, "Hey, stop!" The guy's like, "I'm just trying no, to get no, home, man." Athens. No, no. There is definitely a huge like a true like anti-fascist, very left wing. Yeah, because fascism. Well, because a real we thing had there. real fascism yeah. in 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 in, uh, in Greece. I mean, that's. The underground scene was it's just cool. badass. It's cool. No, no. Greece fuck Athens fucking rules. You yeah. have that and each each little city, I will say as much as it pains me to admit this, it kind of reminds me of LA in that like it's kind of hilly, it's mountainous sure. and uh and it, it everything is like its own little every neighborhood is almost like its own little city. The way LA is where it's like you have like ritzy rich places, you have places with nice beaches. Uh then you have like, you know, the 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 suburb the like exurbs of like it's 45 minutes away, but it's still kind of in the metro area. It's just yeah, a fucking right. sick place. Yeah, the place. boat is so far away. Yeah. The yeah, ferries. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, it's yeah. like, damn. It's a completely different... Exactly. It's like almost like yeah. a secondary city. But, you know, that's kind of how, like, fucking LAX and shit, and the water is in LA, too. Like, the west side versus the east side, all this kind of shit. But yeah. Athens rules. But, yeah, <clears throat> you should definitely go to Tokyo. It fucking rules. When, when was the first Asian you saw? Probably also at College Park, huh? First Asians? Yeah. 
Yeah, the first one I ever beat off to was uh, the chick from uh, Wayne's World. Oh, she was. Carrera. I never realized I could be into Asians yeah, until Tia Carrera yeah, came yeah. out. Wow, man, that's all. Awesome. When did you see? When did you see Wayne's World? Uh, you I just saw it see? yesterday. <laughs> and, uh, man, I On jerked the, off in hard. the Uber over here. <laughs> you're the watching. <laughs> you're watching Wayne's World and jacking off. <laughs> 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 but like truly how insular was that shit like you basically just had not even just jewish friends but probably just friends from your community until you were like yeah just just friends from my community yeah. like we'd be civil to other people right 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 like we had like a the guy filled up the candy machine we're just like say hi to him yeah but like they're not you, really you felt superior to them they were just outside it wasn't even yeah, superior yeah, yeah. you didn't if i grew up better. i might start feeling superior but it was really just like they're just not I did it in the special. I'm like, they see other non Jews like we see squirrels. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. They're yeah. fine. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, you just, yeah. you're not going to make friends with one. Right. 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 Yeah. Damn. That's so funny. And then, and then you, why did you decide to be a rabbi? You were just into the shit. You liked the scriptures. It was like pre law. It's like, let's keep your options open. Gotcha. 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 And then it was cool. And I was succeeding for the first time. Oh, wow. Really? Because all you really had to do, how, were you a good student? Yeah. yeah I was a bad student. student. Okay. And all you really had to do to succeed in yeshiva was sit there. <laughs> like if you put in the hours as soon as prayers ended you're like before breakfast i'm going to study for 30 minutes after breakfast i'm going right back to lunch after lunch daven mincha and then go right back to pray for a while till marav dinner then right back what's like, daven mincha mean mincha is like the afternoon service oh, okay uh, marav is the night day, service huh? three times a three day three times a day yeah Holy you can combine fuck. night afternoon and night if you time it right gotcha you just like 20 just minutes slide in between. Just into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's still dusk, and now it's... Okay, it's not. Yeah. Um, but, but if you just sat there, all the rabbis like, you're doing great. And all you had to do was read... <laughs> just read, read some Aramaic. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Easy peasy. Aramaic? You, you yeah. could read Aramaic for yeah, real? Yeah. Wow. So you could... You were just listening to the Passion of the Christ, and it's... Mother it's real, yeah. It's he's real actually time. saying, uh, get Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> uh, invest in Bitcoin. Um, yeah, it's so fucking dumb to be like, did it prepare you? I'm like, what, to learn a dead language yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. even on the level of An Latin? extra dead language. <laughs> like, it's like damn. Greek at least, somebody still speaks it, and you can... The and, signs and, there are in Greece. And all, Yeah, absolutely. And also the, like, you know, a lot of root words come from Greek, so I, it was like, it helped my vocabulary as a little kid, but Aramaic, yeah. nothing. Except to hear the like the extra anti-Semitic like <laughs> characters in in fucking uh, Passion of the Christ, <laughs> where they basically have like horns. So awesome! That movie's hilarious, dude. I gotta rewatch it. It's so. Oh, we should do a Passion, Passion of the Project. Christ rewatch, dude. Yeah, we should. <laughs> We should. We should do Pass of the Christ rewatch. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. You, we need you in a different type of annoying Jew, like a different style of annoying Jew. Maybe Ronan. Ronan's yeah. a different annoying yeah. Jew. Maybe some film guy. That could be a fun little mix. Well, actually, I got that producer. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you fat bitch. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you don't know shit. What is, what's even Mincha? You don't know. <laughs> what are the fun? Because I was kind of, I was getting into, I was reading about when they started writing the first, like the first parts of the Bible, which is basically the Jewish scriptures. But it's yeah. like, there's a lot of wacky shit there. And it all starts, it all, it's basically, yeah. if I understand it correctly, the whole Judeo-Christian thing started because like ancient you know, the the Jewish people, if they even, like, identified as that, just had to cope with getting their asses fucked by bigger powers, by, like, the the Hittites and yeah. the Egyptians, Egyptians. And, like, like, you guys were just, like, in the in the Levant, they were, you were just getting taken over after having, like, a couple, maybe, like, a hundred years of your own kingdom, and you were just, like, a very little, completely historically inconsequential people. Inconsequential. That just wrote, like, excuses for what you did to God to piss him off. It's literally the whole Bible is like is like sore losers explaining why they got why and they it's got being sore losers. Like yeah. they sold their brother it to Egypt because he had a nicer coat than them. Yeah. <laughs> like, why don't you get a better Hanukkah present? Yeah, yeah. Sell yeah. him into slavery. Yeah. <laughs> and then he gets out. It's, right, yeah. it's just sore losers. It's it's, that's yeah. the beginning of it. It's so weird and how it's like <laughs> And like here's how we can explain it. Yeah. This is why we lost. It's cause you know we went to Egypt, and I told the one guy told 
his wife to not say to go fuck the Pharaoh. What, what is that one of them where he's like, don't say we're, we're married. Somebody had a hot wife. Abraham and Abraham, Sarah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah, weird. Yeah, it's like, yeah, don't yeah. say we're married because they'll probably kill me. And then so he's just say you're my sister so they can rape you. Yeah, he sold her pussy for like good yeah. treatment from the Egyptians. Dude, that's the legitimately, that's, we studied that for like two weeks. <laughs> because it's problematic on the yeah. surface. We're like, what do you mean? You're just supposed to let your wife get raped? <laughs> And then all the rabbis are like, so this is like, it's, Look, if you say it's the word of God, like, what is he teaching you? Yeah. And it really is like, you guys are going to get beat up a lot. Yeah. So <laughs> mitigate the losses. <laughs> I'm pussy. telling you, the Holocaust <laughs> is coming. So like, if you got to give your kid to a fucking Christian family and say, he's just got a big Italian nose, yeah. do it. Let, it. let him survive. No Jesus sense in having him die. Yeah. It's like literally like the most pathetic ways to survive is like, yeah. give the Pharaoh your wife's cunt. <laughs> No, it's just some and fucking random Arabs day. in the desert. Oh, yeah, you're right. It yeah, wasn't even just a like, some here. Here some, here come two dudes on horseback. Don't try to fight them. You got a nice wife. Go no, not my wife. wife. Oh, God, it's not my wife. It's my sister. It's my sister. Yeah, pee. Which is back. fine. Yeah, as if that's better. Letting your sister get yeah, fucked. Right. Yeah. Why is that better? <laughs> You could argue that's worse. Yeah, so like, so like the other guys, are like this guy ain't gonna do shit to yeah. stop him from raping his sister. <laughs> Just his sister. His wife, he might have to fucking step up. God damn, that shit is so funny. Yeah, and like, what would be the reason that God would like do that, or or man yeah. would create that those scriptures to like yeah. help us? And that's the reason. It's like yeah. you guys are not good fighters. Yeah, we're the first ones to write shit down. Yeah, uh -huh. truly. Yeah, it's insane. And I just didn't realize that it's like that that is his like obviously the stories in the bible are not historically accurate but they're like based on shit you know what yep. i mean like some of that stuff did happen just not the way they said it they like combined you know you know they just kind of like rationalized i think some of it too was was hey they passed it down orally for a while and right. by the time they wrote it down they're like had to make sense of it totally so like totally. oh it had to be this like oh actually they had a different thing back characters. then but we'll just say it was this yeah combined yeah. characters there's certain kings that were like that they didn't want to admit were cool, or it was just like, and there's also like the two different kingdoms of like, there was like Judea and uh, and Israel, maybe they were different or something like that. I don't know, I was just reading the historical part of it. It was, it was very fascinating, but it was like an academic book, and I was like, oh, I'm too stupid to read academic right. shit. I need like pop history. Or like Yuval Harari. No, like, dude, the, the, literally the guy had, like, his, like, sources cited after every fact. Fucking I'm like, source. I don't I'm need too source stupid for this, up. man. Just yeah. give me a fun anecdote about, about it. So I'll stick with Hogwarts. I literally got only, like, 40 pages into this book, and I was like... Hey. That's pretty good, though, for yeah. a book. Yeah, but I read it to go to sleep, so it was like... I would just doze off so fast. If... I, I wonder what the book... I'll find what the book is called, and maybe a listener can explain it to me. I, I bet it was called Mein Kampf, you fucking yeah. You fucking piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm reading the book. I'm reading the book with the most truths about Jews. <laughs> it was very heady. Yeah. <laughs> with the most non-biased view of them. <laughs> yeah, that shit is fucking... And so, and it, what, what was the moment where you're like, I can't do this shit. I can't. This is fun. Reading scriptures about a guy selling pussy to Arabs is fun, but like, I'm succeeding, but I can't be doing this. Yeah. Um, was there a moment? Was there something that really popped for you? Yeah. It was like uh, I, had a, I had a light on above my bed on the Sabbath. I couldn't sleep. It was right above my bed. I wanted to flip it off so bad. <laughs> and you can't. I wanted to you flip couldn't it off get so it, You couldn't bad. get a Shabbos goy? There was none. It was Jerusalem. Uh, oh, in Jerusalem. Yeah. Oh, wow. No Shabbos goy. It's a good word, though. Yeah, thanks, man. I know a little bit. Um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm just going to turn this fucking light off. <laughs> It was like right above my, like a bed's here. It's just like a reading light right uh, in the wall above my bed for the dorm so you could study like Gamara right, before you went right, to sleep. Right. I put something over it, kept falling off. And I was like, oh I'm just going to flip it off. And then I was about to, but I saw my windows right by the entrances to the yeshiva. So I was like, someone, someone will see. see. Yeah. But I didn't even do it. But it was just like me what thinking you, like I was, I was wanted to do it was mm, like, maybe I don't believe in this God thing. Yeah. Because if he was pretty stupid. clear about can't do it yeah <laughs> and i still was gonna do it anyway yeah. and it's god yeah, going, yeah hey don't do that and yeah I'm like, nah i need to sleep yeah i need to sleep and stop me if you're god stop me stop yeah i'll just <laughs> oh wait you didn't do shit interesting yeah, short out the fucking circuits dude. And, yeah and totally, totally to. totally, totally. Me yeah let me pray hard as shit yeah. what if in that moment it just 
You'd been you'd be a rabbi. I'd right be now. back in. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be a rabbi. I'd be not slowing down at yellow lights for with you crossing the street. <laughs> Damn, that's so fucking hilarious. <clears throat> no one drives worse than a fucking Queens religious Jew. Yeah. <laughs> They don't give a fuck. That is very true. <laughs> always on their fucking flip phones. Yeah, <laughs> to do in T nine. Yeah, killing someone so they can text in T nine. Yeah. Wow, in Jerusalem. And then what's the next day after that look like? You pack. Oh, I didn't up. do it. I didn't. Uh, I just thought about it for like a year. Oh, that was the like the seed. Yeah, like a real year. I kept tossing around my head because it was a real big decision. Huh. You know, and of then course. eventually I'm like, I think I might be out. And you were how old, like in 20, what? what 20, 21. Okay. So I was two years in seminary, then a year here in Yeshiva University. And uh, during that Yeshiva University, I'm like, talk to everybody. I was like, guys, I think I might be out of this. And, and then they were like, they then say? throw the Torah on the ground. If you, if you, if you don't believe, I'm like, well, that seems rude. Yeah. 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 I'm not gonna throw the fucking Quran <laughs> on the ground. I, I can be not a dickhead and not, yeah. like, I can <laughs> that's, respect that's in between. you. <laughs> so it's like, this is all you've known your whole life. You're not. Even if, like, now you might throw one, back then you wouldn't have. I wouldn't throw one now either. Ah, come on. Pussy. I might throw it if no one's around. I'm just Pussy. Down, <laughs> Damn, they still got their hooks in you, dude. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. I Some would, shit's good. I'll hold door open for, like, old ladies and stuff. That's yeah, from there. That's not from there. It is from there. That's just genuine being a good guy, human stuff. Literally, like, zero comedians. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They'll literally shut the door after they leave to make sure an old lady can't get the benefit from their hard work. Yeah, that's so funny. I I would throw. I mean, I I guess I would. I guess. What's the point? Because just to do it, do what? Just to throw a religious text of any kind. Yeah, you're just kind of being a dick. You have to really believe it and hate it. Right. That's my favorite. Is the post Holocaust Jews? They were like, I didn't stop believing, but fuck God. Oh wow! Well, yeah, you fucked our yeah. ass. Yeah. Like, yeah. You let that happen. What a fucking. Cunt Which you is are. a good point. It's honestly a really good it's point. It's a really good point. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. kind of my whole thing with religion that no one really has a good answer for. Yeah. Everyone taps around why bad stuff's allowed to happen and it's why a test. Africa's like, horrible. that bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can what about childhood minor... AIDS? Yeah. Can That's you give me a also quiz a test? Instead of a test? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm sure there's childhood a really AIDS. good yeah, reason. Like, what is this testing? Really good reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was maggots in your fucking throat in, in fucking yeah. Nairobi helping yeah. me be a better Jew in yeah. New York. No, it makes sense. Um, damn, dude. So then what was the, what's the day? When's the actual day? I remember day it like? was, it was in Yeshiva, in, in Yeshiva University. So yep. it was a split curriculum college. And then, um, yeah, I went, I went nearby. It was in uh, Crown Heights mm -hmm. or, or Spanish Harlem, whatever. Yep. It's like 185th in Amsterdam. And then, like, I was like, I'm going to go get Taco Bell. I'm doing it. It was <laughs> the closest was the, one. That was the meal you chose, Taco Bell? <laughs> it wasn't like a Last Supper. It was just nearby. Yeah, yeah, and I had yeah. seen the commercials. Yeah. It looked great. Yeah. It was not great. <laughs> it was not it's good. It's still Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, Not yeah, much yeah. has changed. That's so funny that Taco Bell was what broke it. Yeah, I could have just had a piece of cheese on some yeah, kosher a little, beef. Little, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. And then you're like, I'm out. Do you have to, like... Is there paperwork and shit, or you just left? There's no paperwork. It's not like Mormonism. Good questions, though, yeah, yeah. where you don't get excommunicated. They really try to keep pushing you back oh. in. I mean, they didn't stop for a decade or more. Wow. Like, come on, come on. You're just going through a phase. Come on, come on, Even come on. after you're publicly, like, acting a fool as a, for a career? Yeah. What, was there, yeah. Yeah, the, apparently when, when Jew came out, and uh, my special on YouTube right now. Yeah, and, watching um, Free Folks. And, uh... So my sisters are still in the community, you know, and my parents are still in. And so there was like a lot of worried wow. talk because they're like, this is the last thing we need right now. Who's the Kanye pop off? Right, I already right, recorded right. it, but it was like no, so I remember. new discussions of anti-Semitism. I remember how pumped you were when that happened. You're like, this is going to be good for the algo. <laughs> they got to put some cold you up top or they're <laughs> they gotta, also anti-Semitic. <laughs> I was a little worried about it because I could see them just going, mm, there's some anti-Jewish right, jokes right, in here. Right, we're taking right, it down. Right, right, right. Um, but like. They were like yeah. worried. They're like, "Is this what's this gonna be?" Right. And then they saw it. I talked to my like my parents, like best friends, and they're like, "Oh." Then everybody was like, "Oh, this is actually really respectful." Oh, cool. And like, kind of nice. Even yeah, when you're yeah, fucking yeah. around, it's still like, it was, and it from was a good place. Yeah, yeah, it really was from a good place. But I needed twenty something years off to be able to get to that. Totally, totally. Because I, I would imagine there's the initial like Fuck them. You guys yeah, exactly. your lives. There's like a decade of that. You Legitimately I mean? a decade. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, that makes sense. And then you yeah. just kind of mellow out. But you also mellow out with age, too, where you're There's like, that, too. Like, what's the fight for? Yeah. What, totally. what am I fighting? I know. I feel that way, too, because it's like I went through that phase of, like, just 
you know, the embarrassing college atheism phase where you're like, you're all fucking sheep, man. Such, and, you're, and, and you're the sheep yeah, because you're yeah, joining yeah. a club. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, man, Richard Dawkins, that's who's the genius, <laughs> yeah. you know? I read one book. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, my, the book I read doesn't have weird verses and chapters, which yeah. still don't really make sense to me. Um, also, now looking back, there is something nice to prayer. Well, yeah. I, like to uh, gathering... Just the organization of like, hey, be kind to your neighbors. The basis of it is well, it's, it's community. Like, fine. It's, it's community. It's community, and it's literally meditation. Yeah. And we talked about this a little bit because De Stefano was talking about how he's religious. I mean, he's a fucking idiot, but he's talking about how you he's know he's like, Greek. His real name is Stephanopoulos. Dude, yeah, that's right. And that's coming from that's coming from Aristotle. That's coming from <laughs> Aristotle Shafir. Yeah, Shafiropoulos. <laughs> Aristotle oh, we got some new names too, Stephanopoulos. <laughs> he just has more chest hair. Yeah, <laughs> he's gayer somehow. Um, but yeah, I do think there's a little bit of like, especially because er, like. Everything is so atomized, and especially with phone, like, not to be, like, not to be a different kind of hack, where it's, like, you know, it starts with, there's no monoculture anymore. There used to be, like, there's three channels, and then yeah. starts with cable, then the internet makes it, you know, compounds that exponentially, and now everyone feels more alone than ever. The world is, even though we're safer, it feels shittier than ever, just because uh. we're so alone, and I do think there is a natural, some people seek community and they seek like meditation and feeling like everything's going to be okay so i do think there's going to be a big bounce back towards religion for people in my generation i've met some people who are like wait you're going to church now what yeah. the fuck and they're like i, I get some mad of it duncan's <laughs> always like prayer you don't have to pray to any specific one but like yeah. it's for yourself but i but i can't and so I can't look go, you I do can't. what you want whatever but i do part of me i'm not gonna lie and i don't want to it just does feel fucking dumb to me. It like feels it feels stupid. like, it, but I get why you do it, yeah. and I would love to feel, I would love to feel like uh, something exists and something is good. Yeah. And but I just don't think I think that's that is, and not that I'm saying like I'm real with myself in every other way, but that's just one way that I can't be in yeah, denial. Yeah, it's like hypocritical. We all have our denials. Top, I want to do this, but yeah. Seems lame. My dad was a paratrooper in the Israeli army. Hell so yeah. every time people are like, hey, you want to go parachuting? I'm like, I don't know, man. He had Arab shooting at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah, seems yeah, weird yeah, to do yeah, with some yeah. homo strap for in my fun. back. Yeah, 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 just yeah, for like yeah, shits yeah, and giggles. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so Damn. it's like, I'd like to get over it, but I can't. I have that in me. Interesting, interesting tale, Ari. But I think it's time for you to stop talking and hear a tale of mine. You and the listeners. You see, uh, when I started podcasting, I didn't have any merch. I was losing money left and right. The little merch I did have, I was selling myself out of garbage bags. It was not, I was keeping no. I was keeping track of nothing. I was probably losing money. Uh, I was probably honestly selling Stavi T-shirts and immediately using the cash for McDonald's, uh, late night McDonald's after my really shitty gigs that I was doing back then. I had no idea that. And today, flash forward to today, Ari and our listeners. We have beautiful merchandise we're selling. We got multiple t-shirts. We've got the Stavi Baby calendars that we've been selling now for six years, I think it's eldest. And for the last five years, we've been using Shopify to do that. It's been an incredible tool for us. It's helped us grow at every stage, back from when I was literally, I, I was carrying around every calendar. It was mailed to me. I was hand I was hand shipping them out all the way to now where we have our buddy who has a little warehouse for us. He runs all our all our uh, merch business. We check all the numbers with Shopify. We're selling a lot. Listen, I don't want to tell you how much we're selling, but it's a pretty penny. It covers it covers Eldest and then some. That's right. We cut. We make over forty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> but I, we love Shopify here. It's a global commerce platform that will help you, like I said, at every stage of your business, from the launch, from when you're in your garbage bag days, to the first real-life store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million order stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. We haven't quite got, not even, we're not even at the million order stage, but we're getting there. We're, we're growing with Shopify too. So whatever you're selling, you're selling soaps, you're selling... Uh, uh, edible underwear, whatever it is, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system. Wherever, whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. In fact, I don't know if you guys know this. Eldis is thinking about you know he's a married man now. He has to have family to worry about. He's thinking about shaving his back and selling the trimmings on Shopify. Isn't that right, Eldis? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing ad reads on here. Just, <laughs> no, just, you don't get just, your own ad reads. Just to put those you up. don't get your own ad reads. But with Shopify, you will have a successful. There will be some uh, some very kink 
friendly people buying those tufts of Albanian hair. Um, so Shopify helps you turn just browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout up to 36% better compared to other leading commerce platforms. And, you know, sell with more with less effort thanks to the ma- Shopify magic, your AI-powered all-star. We love it here. Like I said, we have been using Shopify for the past five years, and it has helped us grow. We track our numbers. We're doing really well. We're trying to, and we're really trying to work even more on our merch, and we're really excited to use Shopify and take advantage of all the tools as we're, you know, we're trying to get, look, I don't want to say anything. We're thinking about getting Hawaiian shirts, okay? We're thinking about track suits, but... When you buy them, if you buy them, it'll be through Shopify. I promise you that. So sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash Stavi, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash Stavi now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash Stavi. There it is. We just made another. We sold another calendar, baby. <clears throat> what were you saying, Ari? So totally. No. no, I get I get that, dude. And like, so I don't know. It's just, it's a fascinating thing. And of course, we ended up talking about, you know, Taiwanese hookers and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it, next time when we do the rewatch, we'll get more into yeah. Jewish stuff. But Eldis, Actually, there's a question that ties into wow, all this right this now. Is I'd crazy. love to bring up. Yeah, I'm a podcast what a pro. host. I have no podcast right now, so I'm searching. What a pro. Um, Hey, this is from Tuesday, 12.41 p.m. Uh, Tuesday says, hey, stop play it. Relax. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Eldis. Go ahead, Tuesday. Hey, Stav, um, watching your... Hey, Stav, um, watching your... Can you just your keep remixing it like that? With Chris, <laughs> you are explaining uh, a lot of stuff as childish. Um, religion mm. is childish. Um, holiday, uh, New Year's Eve is childish it holiday. Is. Um, so in your expert opinion, mm. I was wondering what the manliest holiday is mm. and um, maybe the manliest belief system one can hold. Uh, inquiring for a friend. Thanks. Okay. This is, and look, I'm not Ooh. saying manly is better than childish. <laughs> Adult, adulty. Right? Yeah, yeah. Manly. But I will say, all right, yeah, let's think about these. One? Let's think about the holidays. Ha- Halloween's obviously gone. Fun holiday, but talk about childish. That's, pretty, that's so childish. So childish, purpose, right? Yeah, it's and it's, kids, but it's that's, adults acting like children. But that's also an acceptable childish. Acceptable, you know what I mean? it's but like childish. Childish, but it's like, look, it's costumes, it's fun, it's yeah. candy, right? Like, um, it's not like New Year's has this connotation where it's like we're going into the new we're celebrating it's like what was the year really good do you really yeah. need to celebrate every year some years are fucking dog shit and then what you want to start the new year hungover and like you possibly have gonorrhea because <laughs> you know what I mean yeah what a way to start the new year <laughs> yeah, with like yeah, with like yeah. an incoming herpes exactly exactly shit you have to <laughs> so you you're literally bringing your last day without fucking burning because <laughs> yeah. it's coming um, I know. I know what I want. I'll just brainstorm here. Please. That fucking Midsommar holiday is fucking manly. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah. Yes. But it's Anything also where you gay. kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's also. Anything colorful. where you kill yourself is a manly holiday. Yeah. At the what's, end of what it. is a manly holiday? It's I mean, some murder. I think. I honestly not to so, Christmas. Christmas is based off of a yeah, a Roman a gay sex holiday called Saturnalia, I believe. Look up Saturnalia, Eldis. So getting together, getting presents, fucking your boys in the ass. That's, that's pretty manly. Yeah. Saturnalia held in mid-December God, yeah. is an ancient Roman pagan festival honoring the agricultural god Saturn. Uh, Saturnalia celebrations are the source of many traditions we now associate with Christmas, such as wreaths, candles, feasting, and gift giving. And so I think Christmas is the answer because it's... Oh, based in a gay sex Roman holiday, which is yeah. pretty manly, but also I do think there's something uh, like uh, grown up about Christmas is not really about you, right? It's about kids. It's about like having a good time with your family, providing like that's like you're not really celebrating the year, but you're like taking stock with everybody that you like. Is Thanksgiving manly? Thanksgiving's up there if you carve, carve, carving the turkey. Killing Native Americans, you know, coming, at, yeah. I mean, manliness. It's like uh, genocide is pretty manly. It's not Mardi good, Gras. but it's manly. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's yeah. shitty. It's aggro. If we're going by manly, but yeah. most like adult, most like grown adult. up. I think it's. I think Christmas is just is the answer. Christmas but, seems childish too. The presents. The presents. Maybe Thanksgiving. Can you look up answer. list of list of holidays? What about I think like Carnival? <laughs> uh, yeah. that, those are two niche, that's, right? Yeah, those don't yeah. count. Carnival, yeah, that's... Labor Day. That's the manliest one. That Shut is, up and yeah. get to work. All, you well, get one day off. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you can grill. That's yeah. it. Veterans Day, whatever. Memorial Day. But no, it's... 
Um, hmm. Pearl Harbor Day. Those aren't real holidays. That's not real. Though. Look, we're, we're talking about the real deal ones. Yeah. I think you're right. Christmas is pretty childish. But yeah, maybe it is just Thanksgiving. Because yeah. you got to, you know, nice dinner. You prepare. It's nice dinner. Actually, I, you know it's what? It's actually my, my favorite one because the, just the stopping going, hey, everybody say what you're thankful for is hokey. Yeah. But it does make you actually say out loud something that you're thankful for. And it's nice. And even if you don't say it out loud, it's in your head. It's in your you're head. You're like, this is fucking gay. And then you're like, but I do love my friends. I know. I love you know when what you I go mean? Out like, and somebody <laughs> goes, I'm just happy to be here. I'm thankful for all of you. And like, shut up, loser. We yeah. all could have said that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a given. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck off. That should be outlawed. You should yeah. do a week in jail if yeah. you say, well, I'm thankful for having all of you together right. here. You need one me. more thing over that for sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm going to I'm going to land on Thanksgiving because it's yeah. an overeating holiday. Overeating. It's a take a nap while watching football. God, it's what a man's of, thing to do. It, it really is like it's set up for bro like and there's no there's no Christmas gifts for kids to fuck up. Uh -huh. There's no pressure which you're right. That's not really manly is having to like like do something good for people you love. It's keeping your wife in the kitchen. You keep your wife in the kitchen. That's, manly. That's pretty manly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's definitely Thanksgiving for sure. And in terms of belief systems, you don't have to be any religious to get it. It really was the settlers of America, right? I, mean, I don't they think were, that's they even, were Protestant, but like it wasn't about that. I don't even think. I don't even know what when Thanksgiving was even popularized. I don't. I don't I, know either because it was always told us like look that up. The Elvis. first God, harvest. God forbid you take the hint and look that up, Elvis. Yeah, it would be nice if someone looked that up. <laughs> um, eighteen sixty-three, during the Lincoln, Civil War. Share my birthday with him. Oh, really? Why did you do that hand thing? What? <laughs> you, <laughs> okay. I, I, I was looking peripheral vision. I thought it was a, 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 a flat. Lincoln sign? <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a nut. So the holiday, uh, oh, Lincoln proclaimed a national day of Thanksgiving to celebrate on Thursday, November 6th, was proclaimed by every president thereafter, and the date chosen with few exceptions was the last Thursday in November. Yeah, so, because yeah. the Lions and Cowboys were already playing that day. Yeah. And so they were like, it actually works out perfectly. We can like, force them to stay home and watch football. So, yeah, that, I mean, it's probably, you know, the, the roots of it are probably bullshit. It was just Lincoln trying to get everybody to be like, hey, let's stop He's trying killing to each votes. other over black people. We're friends. Look at that fucking um, turkey on the right. That look, That's a great one. That's a good-looking bird. But Can I just say turkey is one of the most overrated meats. Thank you. You have a you have a a uh, uh, a comrade in that belief. I God, fuck it. It's it just sucks dry dick. chicken. It sucks dick. Get two chickens. Some of the some of the uh, dark meat is good. Some of the dark meat is good, but not like wow. It's not as good as a steak. You, it's not even close to good as a steak. Yeah, I I do. I did. A, uh, we do Korean barbecue Thanksgiving. Nice with my family. Oh, and I made a pork shoulder sometime. And for Christmas we do a. I do a nice steak roast, nice rib roast. I was actually in uh, Yucatan this Thanksgiving, and oh, they nice. have a lot of turkey there. I was in Ecuador oh. a few before, and they don't really have to only Christmas is Thanksgiving is uh, turkey, so oh, like you can't find it. But pavo is big in in uh, Yucatan, huh. so we just got um, like tacos. And yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, it's it's so like, much great. better. Fuck turkey. And then in terms of a manly belief system, I don't know. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not even that I have a problem with what with like what. Whatever Jason Momoa was in uh, in Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> that one fucking Yeah, rule. we're fucking... What, what were the fuck were they called? The the Dothraki? Dothraki. Yeah, Dothraki. That's the manliest that's belief it. system. That's it. <laughs> the only bitch you respect that's is a bitch with fucking fire-breathing dragons. Everyone else must fucking... You get to use her for pussy and nothing else. Yeah. Yep, that's what it is. Next question, Eldis. <laughs> okay, nailed it. <laughs> what do we got here? Hey, Stav. Hey, Elvis. Hey, cool guest. Sorry, I royally, like, screwed up the other voicemail, okay. but I work night, so please bear with me. Um, me and my husband, we had to move to South Dakota. Dakota? And we're yeah. originally from Southern California, you know, the coolest place to live, maybe. It's up there. And uh, it's cool. so it's quite a change, you know, going from SoCal to the Midwest where there's like literally no Mexicans, mm. which was what we are. Look hard. But, um, You're doing the Mexican trail of tears. Right now at work <laughs> I'm having this issue of this dude who is he's like a proud person from Connecticut and I know nothing about people from Connecticut, but he will not stop talking about Jewish people. Well, <laughs> Even before the paragliders, he just will not stop. I can't talk about movies. 
he'll just say, oh, Spielberg, you know, he wants to make an ethno state in Israel. Like, oh my fucking God, no one cares. <laughs> and he's like, low key racist. I was eating like fruit with like tahine. 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 Yep. And uh, he just said, like, that's the most Mexican shit ever. I'm like, and I'm tell, I, I mean, I dish it back too. I tell him, like, you know what? Maybe you're just boring. Like, yep. is that yeah, like so hard to believe? Like, <laughs> or you're also like just a poor person. Who can't afford spices? Like, like, it's it's ass, pretty yeah. simple. He does probably got a pretty good portfolio. Shelter, yeah. Like I shouldn't. And- whoa, whoa, whoa! Go back. What? He does live in he a does homeless, homeless home, shelter. Like so, like just a poor person who can't afford spices. Like it's pretty simple. He does live in a homeless shelter. Like I shouldn't. And I try like watch what I say because I want to be sensitive toward the guy. But he's also made comments about my weight and. It's just, just a lunatic. Yeah, this guy just general, sucks. Like, I wouldn't this guy take it. Fucking crazy, and I don't really know what to do about it because no one has my back because I'm like just a Mexican female lead, and no one cares about my Ooh. feelings out here. Spicy Latinos, the new boss. Yeah. they're not going to take kindly to that. No. HR doesn't. I don't know. They don't care. Damn. So I don't know. Just here's my. Please help. That Love sucks. You guys. Well, <laughs> what's this job that you work with a guy in a homeless yeah, shelter? That's true. That is true. That's the real. <laughs> I think you need a new job, lady. You move from Southern California to work with fucking people in homeless shelters? <laughs> yeah, he does. You could have found that in SoCal. Now, lady. now, hold on. He could be doing it for the deal. Yeah, it, it, could is be pro- the deal. it is probably the cheapest place to live. He could be like, well, you got to move out in the 30th. You can't move into the first. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not getting a hotel. <laughs> and the storage wouldn't let me stay in the truck. <laughs> I asked him why. I said I'd give him extra free, like $5, but they wouldn't let me. Yeah, I mean, there is so much going on in this question. There's a lot. There is so much. Just moving from, like, Southern California to Dakota. Like, she said the Midwest. Do the Dakotas even count as the Midwest? Like the mid- no, right? I don't. Like, I, I don't like consider it the that. Midwest. Like the Dakotas make like uh, Milwaukee look like Paris. Like there's <laughs> even shittier. Like Dakota fucking sucks dick. I know where. Yeah, I, I mean, mean it's the middle. I guess, but it's just the middle. What's the Midwest start? Isn't that Chicago? It, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. You, I would where argue that Midwest? South Dakota, it- South Dakota. Doesn't quite is like Arizona the Midwest. No, no, that's the that's the West. That's the West. Yeah, the but anyway, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I consider the mid. I mean, I guess culturally, you consider the Midwest. Cold, what is the Midwest? Places. I wish I had a computer in front of me so I could just Google what is the what is the Midwest. <laughs> I mean, you know, we know what the fuck. Pretty much, it's like, yeah, there we go. Midwestern oh, United States. What does it claim to be? Yeah, it's really like kind of the Mid East. Oh yeah. yes, this is Dakotas. I don't know that I would count them. There. I don't know either. They seem more Western. So but whatever. Who gives not. a fuck? Who does give either, a fuck? Either way, it sucks dick. That's true. Yeah. That's enough. There's enough going on there. Then the, like, this You're one guy. Yeah. This one guy is enough. Because, like, what is going on? I mean, yes, he could just be, a like, a kind of an out-of-his-mind, annoying, broke Jew. <laughs> you could just be dealing with that. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't... He just... His thing that he likes to talk about is... You meet people like this, though, who are way too proud of their ethnicity. Way no too proud. They bring what. it up all the time. Like, yeah. shut up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're both, we're both probably guilty of that to a degree. <laughs> I, think we, I don't think we are. Yeah. I think we're trying to be entertaining when we we're do it. We're trying to be entertaining. In, I really in like, don't regular care. conversation, we're not bringing, like, people Were have, you guys reading the alphabet? Oh, we started that, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we kind of took the Phoenicians and just made it better. We're like, they, it was kind of bullshit, but we kind of took it. Um, Alexander <laughs> the Great, you ever heard of him? He's fucking awesome. Um... So, like, that's a guy who, who acts like that in real life. Like It's annoying. It's very annoying. Um, and then dealing with being the, the new person and also being... The new, a, the new race. The, yeah, being a woman and a, a type of race that they're not familiar with. And that's... You gotta, you're up against a lot here. Yeah. Um, why did you move? Why'd I guess you, you had move? to. Did she exactly. say all this? No. For work. Oh, this job? Or her husband or her boyfriend's job? Uh, her husband. To- I think she said in the follow-up or the first try that it was, like, for work or something. Gotcha, oh. gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So, I don't know. So, what is even her question exactly? <laughs> uh, what should she do? Was she just complaining? I think so. I what guess the Jewish is rubbing this? off on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what should she do about this annoying racist co-worker? Yeah. Well, listen, that's working at an office. Right? Well, what you could like, do is outdo him. 
Mm. Go hard on pro Jewish shit until oh, oh but she's saying, pro Jewish. Yeah, until he gets annoyed and be like, I'm the Jewish, so he'll change the subject. Yeah, you know, yeah, like just no, he, he won't. I feel he like won't. a guy That's like a big that mistake. will love that. He'll love he's it. Re- he'll he's love ready it. to go back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Dang. had a coworker like that. Like this dude, we weren't saying anything. He was just like listening to Rush Limbaugh on his headphones all day and <laughs> wow. just trying to talk about like Obama. <laughs> how bad? Yeah. How bad our pretender in grief was? <laughs> yeah, That's what the he pretender in grief. grief. Wow. I mean, you could start. You could start uh, coming to work. Maybe put a pro Palestine bumper sticker on your car. Uh-huh. Maybe like maybe now you know, it kind of go bait him into doing something HR worthy. Get him to fired. Yes, 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 yes. You know what I mean? Just be like, and don't even don't argue with him. Just be like, hey, I'm. Uh, collecting money for the children, Palestinian yeah, just, Children's Relief Fund. Just signing, Don't, a, just signing a petition condemning the, the murder of children. Yeah, exactly. Pick the most, the thing on the opposite side that you can't argue against. I and love how these people are so upset that they, re, even if it's like relief aid, they're oh, like, yeah. no, fuck that side. Anti-Semites. Like, <laughs> like, you can't. Giving you can't. fucking turkeys to yeah, the homeless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. yeah, you're an anti-Semite if you want it's the, so the crazy, few you know, Gazan what? children that are still around yeah. to be able to see See a doctor. Yeah, um, I think they're breeding at a super high rate, and they're catching up with the murders. Oh, you think so? <laughs> like, you think, like guys, oh, we gotta get smart. to breeding. Oh, that's 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 the pervert's way to yeah. like. And as raw knows, dog for raw dog, raw for, dog for Gaza. For God, yeah. <laughs> raw dog, raw. Um, and my, yeah, my upbringing told me that the Palestinians have a shorter gestation period, so they're able <laughs> yeah, to like yeah. whip them out. They're able to make nine-year-olds within a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's what he learned at school. Yeah. Um, and so you could just, yeah, I would say maybe slightly goad him into that. Um, and then because she was saying, like, I can't really talk to HR, right? Is that basically what you're saying? And that, which is true, right? Like, you should be able to, but we all know that, like, you don't want to be, if you're the new is boss. This worth it? Yeah, you don't want to be seen as, like, a tattletale or, like, like mm-hmm. if you're trying to win these people over. HR doesn't also is not always the best at not showing you who's. It'd be like, hey guys, so definitely stop eating Bob's leftovers in the right, fridge. Right, and right, we right. We all right, know who it was. Right. Yeah, it's like being <laughs> like, in prison where it's like, yeah, you could theoretically call the guard, but then you're going to get stabbed right. at, at the fucking rec hall, uh-huh. you know? So. Um, um, he ate my lunch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know. I think you're just going to have to, like, I mean, this just is being a boss in a shitty office. You have lunatics that you have to get to do your job. And I would say you just have to focus on getting out of work, hitting your goals, and trying to build some kind of... uh, It probably is worse because all you have is work, but now you live in the fucking Dakotas. So I would say, like, try and see if you can make a life outside of work better while realizing these people suck. And if it's not... I don't know, man. Oh, Move back to advice. go back to fucking L.A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe get out of there if it sucks so bad. But yeah, I would say it's you're you're in a time of a lot of transition where where you just kind of want to feel, um, I don't know, settled a little bit, and it doesn't feel like work is going to be that, yeah. right? Like but work is the page is where you make some new friends in a place. Yeah, it can how, be. How do you make friends? Not legit question. Not in work. We had comedy. So there's clubhouses that we have yeah, like-minded people. That's true. I've, when you come I've, to New York. I've struggled with that when my friends of mine like at basically like I felt bad because I've always known what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I'm not interested really in making adult friends anymore, but the ones I do made came naturally because it was like, yeah, I see these people all the time and we yeah. actually hit it off and we actually want to hang out outside of it whereas like when this motherfucker works in a real office Every one of his coworkers sounded horrible. Shit. Every single Damn. one. Like, there's a couple that sounded fine, but not like the kind of people you'd go out on, you know, hang out with. And then the ones you talk, you would hear about, are like lunatics. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's, I think that's how you get start. You like start with like we'll go out with the coworkers and then their friends, right? And right. then like, oh, I'll actually better friends with one of the friends. Yeah. And then you drop the it coworker goes from there. and you get one of their friends and their friends and their friends. And as and as much as we just kind of went in on this guy for being too into his ethnicity and shit, like. When you're, uh, when, you could probably try and tap into, like, the Mexican community if it exists. Please <laughs> just give them a nice blur all this the whole time. Make a little note of that. Maybe uh, put a Jewish star over it. Yeah. Maybe, put different, <laughs> maybe put different things over it. Every time, maybe put a different thing over it. Have some fun with it. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I don't know. This sucks, Dick, and uh, it, does it doesn't suck. feel like we're gonna be able to help you at all, really. <laughs> Yeah. Your life just kind of sucks. You work in South Dakota and the people are fucking lunatics. Listen to um listen to this podcast more, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> just like put those earphones in and But I don't know. I would try and like find community whether that's like some people find it like, you know, like Mexican there, stuff. You could do like a like people get into like weird clubs as adults yeah. like climbing gyms. I know that's stupid, but I just mean like do something that's like kind of do so, pick up hobbies in your spare time that There's are kind of social. Uh -huh. There is also a way to change um, the relationship you have with certain people. So, like, I knew, I've known a few people that got in comedy that got kind of, like, eventually got kind of, like, racist. Yeah. And it was yeah. just annoying after a while. And I don't think they are at their core. They just kind of, like, went that way with jokes. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just, like, you just got to guide the conversation away from it. Totally. And we're, like, see, see this, what this black guy did? I'm, like, oh, look at his pants. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Could you yeah, imagine yeah, wearing yeah, those yeah. pants in March? And then just, just like, jiggle your keys. Yeah, so, like, there's a way to find, even that Jewish guy, like, something you connect in so you can keep changing the subjects to the Yankees or something you're yeah, both interested yeah, in. yeah. Where you actually pretend to get into talk. smoked fish. Yeah, exactly. Pretend you love smoked fish. Start talking about cedar. You know versus what doesn't suck? Herring. Pickled <laughs> herring. Wow, it's so awesome how that doesn't suck. Yeah. But good luck. Sorry. Good luck. Sorry, we're not. This feels like the kind of person that we could benefit from talking to actually in person. So get some questions. Maybe we may, do you ever do call that? back. We do we do one one a month. We do a Patreon where we have it through Discord and people call in. It's nice. pretty fun. Discord. Oh, yeah. I used to do that. Yeah. <laughs> that is rad. Hey, Stavi. How you doing, baby? Love the show. Love Thanks, the podcast. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Are you going to so stop? So I've got, um, <laughs> I got a problem with one of my buddies. And uh, we're in a dispute over 40 bucks. Mm. So That's tough. Um, he and I went to go visit my cousin. My cousin had been drinking the night before. Um, wanted to go to a sauna to sweat out the hangover. Oh, we nice. all go to a sauna. We go to a Russian bathhouse, a banya. Mm -hmm. um, got, you know, a locker room. You change into a towel, and then you go into a sauna, steam room, shower, that sort yep. of thing. Okay. So We know how it works. We're fine. We all go in. <laughs> Uh, obviously you see you naked dudes in there, but it's fine. Um, you know, okay. we sweat it out, feel better. <laughs> we leave the banya. Then in the parking lot, we're driving out and this dude stops our car, makes me roll down the window and he says, uh, you guys gay? You, you want to, you want to fuck? And I was like, no, no, sorry. Like we're good. <laughs> and we took off. Okay. We got out of there. And, and like, one of my oh, I actually friends left my phone in there. Mission, uh, my cousin's fine. He's like, yeah, whatever. My friend will not stop mentioning that the whole bathhouse is a gay place now. Oh. Won't fucking calm down. Whatever. Drop him off. Oh. Uh, Venmo request my cousin and him for the 40 bucks it costs to get into the sauna. That's yeah. where this comes in. Uh, my cousin pays me back. And my friend, he said, dude, that's on you. That place is gay. Wow. Uh, you're, you're fucking trying to make what? me gay. And he won't give me my 40 bucks. Whoa. And I think that he's struggling with some sort of, you know, repressed <sighs> sexual feelings. He's a uh, pretty openly vehemic, uh, you know, what? homophobe. So, <laughs> got any advice for me? Um, maybe this is a bigger problem than 40 bucks. Maybe I, I got to help my friend out here, but... I, I would like the money first, so... Yeah. He's like, uh, how dare you? How Bye. dare you take me to that place? You know, I've been back three times. I go back and I argue with them about how gay it is. And I just, I'm there for a couple hours arguing. So if you see, I know you have my location. And if you see me that I've been there for two hours a night the last week, it's because I'm telling them how pissed off I am and how gay that place is. Um, <laughs> I mean, dude... This is insane. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> I mean, first and foremost, he owes you that forty bucks. I mean, that's that's a non-negotiable. Without question, it's like okay, man. Well, if we got also, we, you went in. You didn't. You stop enjoy, and like, what yeah. The F and and left, you didn't like, have gay sex. You mean like because you borrowed the forty, and it's like, well, it wasn't what I expected. I'm like, no, no, you borrowed the forty. You just exactly. chose to come. A hundred percent. Like he, as soon as he's covering you. What happens? Like, can you imagine? It's like, hey, cover me this meal. I'm like, the meal was bad. I'm not paying you back. <laughs> yeah, that's insanity, what? dude. That's crazy. And it that's came, well, it came out burnt. I'm like, well, I pay. I also paid. What the fuck? It was bad for me too. Why? Well, yeah. I should have to pay eighty bucks. So, I mean, 
not wanting to pay you 40 bucks, I'm not even kidding. I'm not exaggerating. That is grounds for not being friends with yeah, this person anymore. Yeah, to do that. Because this is like a fucking, a ch how a child thinks of money, right? Like, I didn't have a good time. I don't have to pay you. That's crazy. That's number one. And then um, being a vehement homophobe, <laughs> that's also grounds for maybe not being friends. Like, is he yeah. your best friend? Did he save you in Iraq? <laughs> like, what? how much do you owe this guy? Yeah. Because, like, there, these are two things where I'm like, each one of them separately is like, why? Am, it really yeah, makes why you think, you why am I friends with Why are you with friends with this, this Welsh who yeah. doesn't hate, who hates gays. Actually, just like that's a Welsh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just anybody from yeah, Welsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, this is fucking crazy. I will say. Yeah. As someone, it's in my culture to go to saunas and bathhouses. Right, and not to pay people back. And not to pay people Those back. Those are two things. <laughs> so that I actually can and to complain on about complain about how you didn't have a good time yep. so you don't actually owe anyone you, money. You owe them the money for sure. Mm -hmm. I will say, it is separately. It is annoying how the gays will take over a bathhouse sure. and make it a different thing. But at the same time, you kind of know. That but you that's know, what's happened. dude. So I know a couple in New York that are yeah. that are just hetero ones, and yeah. then you go on the road like bathhouse, and it's like only all dude disco night, and right. you're like, fuck, you know what it is? Like, how do I find a kind, hetero one? You know, it's kind of the way <laughs> while we started the podcast, and you're talking about like massage parlors with locks on the doors. It's like if you go to a bathhouse and they're playing share, yeah probably get out of there you know unless you want to get sucked off in which case pretty the fun. one i go to has a because a lot of hasidic jews has an all male day or like morning mm -hmm. and i was like okay i'll go to that and um one time i was like hey one one bathhouse and they're like oh it's all men today and they looked at me weird and i'm like yeah i'm a I'm a man. Yeah, I'm a man. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, come yeah, on, yeah, doesn't yeah, preclude yeah. me. Yeah. And I'm not a very great man, yeah, but I'm a yeah, man yeah, at least. Yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah. I got down there and I was like, oh, I you're see like, what you're uh, saying. They put their phones in the door hedges and they're play literally playing disco. <laughs> Somebody was like, hey, you don't know, this. it's all dudes, so you don't need those shorts. I'm like, oh, okay. He goes, so take the shorts off. Wow. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm probably they're already on, so probably yeah, just, gonna probably just, just leave them on. on. It's yeah. pretty leery. Yeah. Here's the problem when coming in contact with gays is that most men heterosexual men don't realize what creeps all men are right they've never really seen You've it never had that that power focus towards right you. and yes. so you see you're like well this is terrible you, so i would say dude just have your friend just realize what it's like to be a woman all the time yeah, it is annoying yeah, 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 and yeah. take it as a learning learning experience and then just like i don't know find a hetero bathhouse they're still fun <laughs> yeah absolutely and you have to just be like hey man you own explain him what we just said it's like you owe me the money. You owe me the money, man. If I paid for your lunch and it was burned, you'd still exactly, owe me the fucking exactly, money. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And it's not like you took him to a gay place, like some, like, I would even, he would still be wrong, yeah. but I would even listen to him if while in the sauna and you're having a schwitz, two guys came in and started jacking each other off in front of you, then I'd be, Let's get he'd still here. be wrong, but he'd be like, what the fuck, man? Why did you take me to a gay? Because he can't even admit this. He has no argument for you taking him to a gay place. Outside of the sauna, two guys propositioned you for gay sex. That's not you taking him to a gay place. This guy's a fucking piece of shit. He owes you the money. He owes you the money. Like, you got to start there. And then, I mean, if you want to be, if he's a really good friend and you want to be like, hey, man, why does this bother you so much? And make him work through it. But my guess is you're not going to be able to do that. This is something. This guy feels like 10 steps away. If he is closeted, yeah. he's 10 steps away from realizing it. Yeah, he's going to fight it a while. He's not he's on He's going to fight it, and it's not going to be you. And I hate to say this, but unless this guy is a very close friend, and maybe he is. Cousin. Th this is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's your boyfriend. Um, unless he's a really close friend, it's like, you might need to. If he doesn't pay you the 40 bucks, dude, I honestly wouldn't fuck. I would be like. I would be. I would not hang out with this person. I'm serious. This That's reminds crazy. me of a. Uh, and it's not about the money. It's about the principle. To be clear, right? Like I'd give my friend needed forty dollars. I'd give him forty dollars. But if he just tried to get one it over, might mean on a me. lot to this guy. But still, you got to pay it back. You got to pay it back. You borrow money. You got to pay it back. Totally. I uh, I loaned money to DS once in his heavy coke face, and he's like, oh, "Hey, are you got two hundred bucks? I need two hundred bucks." And I was like, "A new young comic, kind of broke." Yeah. And I was like. I didn't know how to say no to him. Yeah, of course. But in my head, and he's like a legit criminal at the time. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, all right, well, this will be the last time. I could have, he could have asked me for 400, so I'm out 200. He's right. never going to pay me back. Right. And I just won't ever have to loan him again. Exactly. He paid him back two days later. Wow. Yep, never, never reneged on anything. What a gentleman. He just got through the paydays. Wow. This does remind me of a story. Okay, please. I was with Tom Segura, mm -hmm. I believe Burt Kreischer, mm-hmm. 
and me, and we're at a hotel somewhere, and we went to the steam room at the hotel. Mm. Great, fine. You suck both their cocks. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna just ruin the right <laughs> sorry, the man. I didn't mean to step <laughs> on your story. <laughs> I can still taste it. <laughs> no, so we're down there. Some old dude is in there, and then he just like he looks at, at the at it's me and Tom in there. I think Bert had just was just about to come in, or was okay. just left. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It was Bert. Sure. And he just takes his towel and opens it and stares at Tom, stares wow. at him, and just goes like this, and we're like. Uh, okay because we're also like you know whenever you go to one of these things or a locker room you're like well, what's what's the, the vibe gonna be what's, what's the status Absolutely. quo i don't want to yep, like yep. If, all, if there's a bunch of old dudes with their cocks out then that's just it they're just yeah. old dudes who are comfortable yeah so like okay and you're like is this just the way and then he starts like talking and he starts negging me negging oh, me wow. negging me up and down what's his dick doing is his dick twitching steamy in there <laughs> okay all right <laughs> and then he just goes to me it's like hey you seem like you're pretty like worn out you should probably like take a break and I was like, I looked at Tom, and Tom's just like, dude, dude, dude. And then I was like, I realize it's the right thing to do to leave now. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> just leave Tom to the gay wolves. Dude. Throw your friend in the fucking steam room with a guy that wants to suck he his He wants cock. it so bad. But it was just a hotel steam room. It's not a gay bathhouse. It's just a hotel steam room. It's like when fucking Pee Wee Herman did it. It was in a gay movie right. theater. It wasn't in a fucking Titanic. Right, right, right. You know? Right, right. And so right. I'm, I leave. Tom's like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm like, see you, man. That's awesome. Shut the door hard. And he came out pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to say it was just enough time to get it done, but it was not enough time yeah. to get it done. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, yeah. dude. To just leave him in there with a guy that wants to fuck him. Yeah, and then Salute. it was like, what's up? And then also we start talking, like, how come me and not you? And he's like, well, there's bears. There's bear right, hunters. Right, this right. guy wanted a fat dude. So then Bert goes, I'm going in. Hilarious. Just test. Hilarious. He was in there for 10 seconds, and the guy just walks out disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome because yeah. you know it hurt Bert's feelings. It hurt Bert. Like Bert wanted yeah. the guy to come on to him and didn't be like, no, I'm no, straight. I'm not into that. But the guy was like, ew. <laughs> At least Tom's is like a set in fat. Yours yeah. is like a new pushed out fat. No thanks. You want it too much. <laughs> yeah. He put out that desperate, please mm -hmm. suck my that guy dick likes energy. To fuck he heterosexual dudes. Right. And you want you wanted it too much. Right. Interesting. Interesting. That's fucking hilarious. It dude. was great. That's when fucking was that? hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Where was that steam room? I think it was in Atlanta. Hmm, Atlanta, huh? Hell, I had a tour date. <laughs> was, we're going to Atlanta next week. <laughs> I had the 80s AIDS, too. He was, he was the one survivor. He was like that chicken 28 weeks later. <laughs> oh, fuck. What do we got, LD? Do we got any good ones? How long have we been going? I've lost track because I'm having a good time. Yeah, what are we doing here? Uh, 121 right now. Oh, nice. Let's do a couple more. Hey, Stav, Eldis, love the show. Um, basically, I have a master plan to kind of get back in my ex in a way. Yeah, nice. Um, it was my best relationship I've ever been in. I have no complaints about her or anything. Yeah, maybe you don't. Except for the fact that she was very close with this one dude okay. who she was never really truly honest about what her relationship is, was. Uh, she never told me that they were, like, romantically involved. What do you mean you have a plan? Like... <laughs> Very clearly, immediately, she broke up with you. Yep, this yep. is so insane to be like... To get back to my... No one's us, back in an ex that you broke up with. Telling us... Yeah, 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 yeah. Telling us, like, what you had a problem with. It was my best relationship ever. As if that ever. matters. Of course... Like, anyway, whatever. Let's see what he has to say. Of in the past, and that he was just kind of an asshole to her, and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Pause, pause again. Eventually, when we broke... So there is something that men and women will, without being able to fully comprehend it in their brain, tap into. Mm. And when it's some, when a woman's like, hey, I don't want you fucking that friend. And you're like, I didn't know I'd have a chance. And they just know that you do. Mm. Or if a guy's like, we can break up, but don't fuck around. Or just you get an inkling of a you jealousy. You always know. There's who, a yeah. reason you're getting yeah. jealous. There's something going on. You can't even quite put your finger on it or define it. But it is there. Or just even, and it's like, you can tell by the way they talk about them. Like, this definitely happened to me where it was like a girl I was dating, she just mentioned a friend of a friend in a way where I was like, this guy's going to fuck her if we uh -huh. when, Not if, and, when and, we and break up. And you sound like a lunatic if you said, and then he, said and that. And then he fucked her. But you'd and then be we right. get back together and, I, and then I was like, 
who was like she let it slip that she had like like again I didn't give a fuck that she fucked other people when we weren't together it's like whatever I fucked yeah. a bunch of girls but it was just like that it was that guy and I was just like who was she let it slip that she fucked like a fr- at, at like one of her at that friend who was a friend of at like a party she hooked up with somebody yeah. and I was like who was it. And then, dude, we're just having a fucking fight in like a smoothie shop, and I'm like, you, and I'm like, and I'm like mad at her, but I can't because it's my fault we weren't dating. You know what I mean? Like I was, and I was like, I don't even care that you fuck other guys, but this fucking guy, you know, I was just going, yeah. and I have no leg to stand on. It's the worst fight to be in because yeah, I'm, no ra- I'm in the wrong in almost every way. It's just like it was like the it. one guy would have bothered me. You would have fucked. You, fucked? I could tell you anytime you say just we can break up, but don't mess around with that person. You are pushing them together. Oh, don't never say, say it. it. That's crazy. But you don't have to say it. You, you know that it's it. going to happen. It happens every fucking time. Anyway, so this guy had that. He had he had, okay. he had his spidey senses and about this And she was this like, who's that an asshole? But okay. But there's another thing, too. She was, you, you be also wary of the guy or the girl that your ex is over talking about. We're talking about what a dumb bitch she is or what an idiot it's he like is. It's like they're correcting for their feelings they're having. Exactly. And they're, they're saying, yes. we saw, so, I mean, it's tough to, we saw terrible things with the <laughs> and we saw uh, some, let's bleep this part out eldest i don't want anything to do with this some woman <laughs> on a date went to the bathroom got hit on by a friend of mine uh-huh. and they went didn't know her yeah. then they went to the bathroom and fucked oh my god in the bathroom on a guy she met in the hallway oh my while god. on a date listen that's she's on a date with of one Valley of your people. friend what she's on a date with no. a friend oh she's, she's on a date, on a with, a date. Only date with a customer a famous guy nope not even famous. Nope. Was famous. on the show. At Good least? with women for sure. Good with women, but was he on the show? No. Wow. Later, but not even. And it was Holy the dead days shit. of the. There was like a hundred people in there. It wasn't like that's that. crazy. So then they fuck, come back, she straightens herself up. We're like, oh, and he goes, yeah, because this guy used to like pull. Right, chicks. that was his move. Yeah, um, and then she goes back and sits with a date and gets overly cuddly. Because she's making up for oh it. Oh my she, we god! We saw her like being more like showy like, and kissing that. Huh? And, you smell like cum. Your cum. <laughs> it's in my brain. And it's wow, like wow, that's to demonic, dude. It's that's demonic. Like, <laughs> so after seeing a bunch of those things coming from just being a formerly religious Jew and right. seeing what actually men and women are capable of, but only focusing on the women, right? You're like, I can't have a relationship for a long time. Oh, right? interesting. Because this is what they all are. Oh, dude, that's even crazier, too, to consider that part of your development. Yeah. Of, like, how... Coming from religious Judaism to that yeah, within a year or two. That's crazy. No wonder you're fucking out of your mind about, like, monogamy and shit like that. Like, you <laughs> you would have no... Of course you wouldn't have a real, like, a normal they look at it. They just fuck randos in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's just a super slut. That's just a super slut. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, sorry. So let's get anyway, to this guy's thing. So that's thing. what you're saying. When they're too much of, like, oh, that guy's an asshole. And, like, I've been, by the way, mm. I've, been, I've been guilty of that, too, where... I'm Me like, too. dude, this ex, I fucking hate her. And then we break up and it's like, I happen to fuck the ex the next time I bump into her. You know what I mean? Like everyone's. It's, You're making up for it by yeah, saying yeah. you hate her. So that's that's also a little tip. Don't don't be too obvious, folks. Don't overdo it. So anyway, that's what his girl was doing. She was saying her ex was an asshole. Go ahead, yeah. Elders. Relationship was she never told me that they were like romantically involved in the past and that he was just kind of an asshole to her. And it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Eventually, when we broke up, she didn't cite him as the reason why we were breaking up, but it kind of felt like that. So I was like, well, I don't really want to talk to you again. Anyways, a couple months go by. This was a couple months ago. I find out that this dude is insanely shitty to her and um, cheated on her last month, like all this shit. Anyways, all of her family... What still are you fucking loves about, me. Man. They love me what so are you much. Talking about? I see her mom all the time it's and her dad sad. very often, yeah, and they guy. love me. Her mom is always inviting me over. I what am thinking that I. Yeah, man, you know how women work, how women go. They're always tra- traditionally attracted to not the bad boy asshole, but the nerd her mother and father <sighs> love. That's who she. That's who the girl always ends up with is the guy who's very respectful and that who her father also thinks he's, is a good he's guy. He's trying to say I'm the rightful heir to the throne. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. deserve this. So the father yeah. likes me. Everybody likes me. It's like this guy's a dick to yeah. her. And I'm not saying that guy's a good guy, but it's like he cheated on her, and it's like, well, she cheated on you, dude. Yeah, so she's so also a whore. Let's let's fin- let's let's just before we fully take this guy down yeah. and shatter his world. Let's see what he has to say. Good. I should go to her mom's house 
and cook her mom oh um, a very, very nice meal. Oh, my family has some very good Jewish recipes that we could, that I could, you know, pull out. Oh, yeah? And, you know, run some Fortnite what, what with her little you, brother. What, what, we'll what, see how it goes. What do you have, pastrami so. sandwich? The only good thing, yeah. the only good food Jews have. Out? I, what this recipe I cooked at the local deli. Yeah, it's a ball of it. dough in fucking <laughs> in <water>. chicken <laughs> chicken stock and the grossest fish you've ever. I like how he just salmon. refers. I have some good ones I could pull out. I was like name one. Name a name, single why, why one. Is waiting. Gefilte fish. And name a single one. Literally. Anyway, whatever. Let's let's finish. Very this good now. Jewish recipes that we could that I could you know pull out. And, you know, run some Fortnite with her little brother. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But it's less of a get back. It's more of a, uh, you know, I'm still here. I'm still here. Anyways, let me know what you think, whether or not I should go through with this plan. Um, um, Love the show. Keep doing what you're doing. We love you too, man. But Uh, you're so, you're so, you're, this is the most down bad. You want to believe this is going to work. It's so going to work against you. Every time I've seen a guy say, I want to show this lady that she fucked up by breaking up with me, it's like, what you're looking for is for her to cry, right? Yeah. You want her to cry. <laughs> like, oh, my God, I was so wrong to break up. You're not going to get that. So all you're really doing is making her now lose all good memories of you. Well, and he, he clearly wants to get back with Obviously. her. Obviously. You know, it's not like get back at her. It's back, get back with, with her. Back with her, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So it's like, that's not going to work, dude. It's not going to work. You're, you're completely in the wrong direction. It's and you got to watch... Uh, uh, Go Sorry, ahead. go ahead. No, no, it's like like everything you're doing is almost textbook the wrong thing. And even like swingers. Like, when he's like, you gotta forget her first, then yeah, you'll get back. Yeah, then she'll yeah, call yeah. you. Yeah. You're still in the early stages. That's of actually swingers. exactly right. You have to forget. And here's the thing. You forget and then maybe it can happen again, but it won't. Probably it won't. It won't. You if have you to for- stop caring. If you forget, it's almost like she has to get run back to the you know what I mean? She has to do her she has to do her like onboarding paperwork again if you forget her. You know what I mean? You're like, actually she's not out of the over system. it at all. So you're, oh, you're in the mode of, of still being broken up with. You're so not over it. So you're not You're delusional. Back. This yeah. is literally like, what's the what's the stages of grief, Eldis? You're at bargaining right now. Yeah. Go, let's go through it. Stages of grief. play Fortnite with her brother. And Stage they won't see grief. how sad it is. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression. And ex- you're literally... You, this is literally it. Like your denial. Now you're you were angry at the guy. For, he was he treated her bad. Yep. Okay. He was just really shitty to her. He like, cheated on her. So yeah. so like I was a good guy. She, he she found a bad guy. She was duped. Yeah. She definitely wasn't an adult who made a decision that she liked this guy. Yeah, dude. It's it's just like. Um, also, she was lying. You, so you said she kind of lied to you about having had a relationship with him before. Yeah, she just so liked that guy more. She's not the greatest more, either. Dude. And also, he's the other thing. He sounds young as hell, right? Yeah, he's probably young. We've and again, I'm sorry to be hard on you. This is how I, this has happened to me too. Yeah. I was way too into a girl, and I've been through this exact stage that you're through, where I'm like, no, what can I do to make it whatever? And like, I so just told me this. Where he aren't, was fucking around with somebody on stage, mm-hmm. and they were saying that it's like my girl, whatever, and everyone's like, oh, fuck her. And then he goes, oh man. You just you just gotta go through it, and then he goes. Yeah. All these older people go. Yeah, that's actually. Yeah, good. yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. You can't yeah. tell them how to be. It's just like you'll just grow. This is something you're gonna go through. You're just gonna go through this, man. And you're like, look, her family. Forget about her family. Forget about you're her fucking young. family. You're not. This isn't gonna happen, brother. They suck. You're just like I heard they're killing Palestinian babies. <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh, well, he said it, not me, folks. <laughs> 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 um, and so it's just like uh, you just you're just. I mean, even hearing his voice, I'm, I just kind of want to give this kid a hug and, like, get high, buy him some pizza, yeah. and, like, let him just fucking get cry in the corner while me and Eldis play Mario Tennis. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like, you're just going through it, brother. You're going through it. And I've been there, too, where I'm like, how? That guy's bad for her. You know? It's just, it doesn't fucking matter, that dude. That guy's bad. Exactly. You gotta, like, move on. And also, like... He was insanely shitty to her. What? He got a little head on the side, like insanely shitty. Like that's not true. By the way, buddy, you know people that have done that to women, and yeah. you don't cut them out of your life. You're just a, you're just a sad kid who's heartbroken right now. No amount of matzo balls or fucking Fortnite wins are bringing this girl back. Nothing you can do right now can bring her back because you're so in your own head. You're being a fucking pussy, and a pussy's yeah. not going to win this lady. <laughs> yeah, back. I mean that actually is all it is. That's basically what I'm saying. Yeah. But good luck. I, f- I really luck. do feel for you. This sucks. I, dude, I remember when I first went over through some breakups, so I'd been through it in the last in the five years prior, you know? Yeah. And so then my friends went through it, just like a little younger member, Nick Yusuf going through one, mm-hmm. and then just going like, oh, I know the path now. Yeah. You are going, you're in for some shit for about six months, 
and then you won't think about it anymore. Yeah. And I, there's no way to lessen the shit or no. lengthen it. No. Hopefully it doesn't go one of those four year, like I never stop thinking about things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's like three months only, but like you're just going to be in this shit till it's done. Yeah. And I mean, I've heard the rule of thumb is at least half the time half, you're in the relationship. Yeah. And then, by the way, it still lingers. It still lingers. Even yeah. when it's like, I, I'm totally over my last relationship, truly, like to the point where I like went through too much of a, it feels like this whole tour has been a little bit of a hoe phase where it's like, it should be a couple months where you're getting out there, but because of the way my life is set up, yeah. I haven't been able to actually connect with a human being truly. And, and I'm so, and I'm just like ready for the next, I, I kind of want to at least, I don't know if I'm ready for a serious relationship, but I want to be like, all right. I just want to like know some people and like try it out, whatever. Go on like four dates and see. Exactly. Like, I'd like, like to go on a couple of dates. <laughs> it's like, all right, this is like, this is like dehumanizing. Right. At a certain for me point, too. for me, yeah. At a certain yeah. point, I'm like, oh man. Uh, but even I'll have like tremors of not even that relationship, but even just like maybe Casual. like a little situation ship that was like a couple months or like uh, even past girls. It's like, it's natural for like old sadnesses to flare up every once in a while. But not to the point where you are think planning like surprise you're what she's gonna come back one day after riding on some guy's motorcycle and getting fingered at the movies and she's gonna see you doing puzzles with her grandma and she's gonna this be like wow I, really I should fuck this guy you want a good guy she's not on that stage no exactly that's the thing she's young too that's the point i was making before we just started roasting him and it's easy yeah. to do but it's like where your girlfriend's getting roasted by dicks on a nightly <laughs> basis. She does, yeah. She's young too. She's gonna want. So she's gonna make mistakes. You're gonna make mistakes, and it's like some people just you you meet it's, them at the wrong time. I, am I coming through this, Elders? I am. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's, it's also like sh she's not gonna regret this. She's just gonna be like, I've been assholes to people, but she's not gonna like. I wish I had and I had stayed with that guy. She's no. just gonna be like, yeah, I've mistreated some people, but, if anything, but you don't go. I wish I had, and it's just like. No, in ten, and by the way, it's not going to be soon either. No. In 10 years, she'll be like, oh, that guy was nice. She deserved nice. better. And she won't be like, well, I guess I wasn't an asshole. So, but she's like, no, we no, broke she'll, up she and I got back with an ex. That's dude, not, that's not she might deal. even be like, oh, I was kind of a bitch to him. Yeah. Like, I've done that where I'm like, in my 20s, I was but like, But she oh. won't like cry. Like, I wish I hadn't done this. She don't feel no, bad about, no, right. No, she'll feel no. bad about doing it to someone, but she won't be like, I made a huge mistake. No, <laughs> no. Move on, buddy. Sorry, we we just kind of destroyed you for like 10 minutes, but yeah. move on. We love you. We care about you um, in a way that this woman never will. If you really want to get back at her, if you're Jewish, know these recipes. Make it like rain near her house. Oh, like, right, right, right. For like a while. <laughs> so that I can change That's all That's a good point. That's a good point. All right, I'll just, maybe one nice one. What do you think? Something nice to take us home? Something nice to take us home. Stabby, baby. Brent from Detroit. So me and the boys, right? So here's the question. So mm -hmm. me and the boys, we get some tickets to see our favorite comedian back in okay. October. It's going to be a night. We're going to go to the casino. Look, we're going to go to the show. My bad. We're going to get drinks. We're going to tie one on that night. It's going to be a night. We're going to fucking rage. Mm -hmm. And then come to find out a day or two before the show, the comedian reschedules the show because he fucked around and gets, and gets COVID. Like who? Okay. 2023. Who's getting yep, COVID? I know. Still, I'll just do the show anyway. And we scheduled the, the show to February. <laughs> so we're thankful. So we just have to postpone the this race here? to it's February. Me, okay. <laughs> so here's the question. The weekend of the new show, apparently my wife's cousin, like her closest cousin, is getting ah, married. Fuck. She's standing up in the wedding. We got to go out of town for it. And I'm saying, yo, I got this show to go to. Yeah. So I'm on the borderline of getting a divorce over this. <laughs> So maybe you might have some advice on to what I could say to my wife, or maybe I even can play the advice for my wife on what I should do here. Get a divorce and come see my favorite comedian and rage with the boys, <laughs> or go to, the, go to the wedding and forever live in shame and regret. <laughs> Let me know, Stavi. Wow. I love that, Eldest, you played this on an episode that likely will come out after these shows. <laughs> Fe it's February, but wait. Whoa! Well, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, oh, it'll be the it week will before. Be, it will be it'll be the week before. before. Yeah. Okay, okay. The week before. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I, I will be in Boston at the Wilbur in February. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think I had an answer. Please, you got to explain to her. So anyway, it's it's her friend's thing. It's her cousin's wedding. It's her cousin's wedding, and be like, babe, I love you and I support you, and I want you to go to this. Mm. 
it means less to me than it means to you. <laughs> right. And I'm not saying I want you to not go. Right. But I'm saying in this antiquated system of weddings, mm. and I get why they are still important emotionally. Yes. And I'm not saying you shouldn't go. Yes. But to me and my friends, if I'm going to look back on this 10 years from now, do you understand how important friendship is to me? Right. And it, don't say, like, don't give me shit. Just go, hey, these are going to be these lifelong memories for me that are actually really important to me. Mm-hmm. And this wedding, it is also important to you. Right. And I and if you had a ticket to this show, I wouldn't say, no, fuck that, you gotta come with us. I would understand, like, oh, the thing that's gonna give you the memories is this wedding. Right. So we should go separate to these. <laughs> yeah, ooh, you should I love go it. to the wedding and I should go to this oh, show of this also, of this rascal. What's this? Like, what kind of wedding is it? Is it a daytime wedding? You get to the late show, buddy. Could, How far away is it? it could is it be the on same the same town? Has he said? Did he say where it is? Yeah, if it's a daytime thing, you could go. Say, you could do an Irish goodbye, get there, shake hands, yeah. and then like fucking let me take off. Yeah, and you actually could... worked out with your wife, and if your wife was cool, she'd be like, "That's the way to do it." So yeah. then no one thinks you fucking slighted them. No, they just think, "Hey, I think you you're go the to the, the ceremony. The you make sure to take some pictures. Make sure to take some pictures, and then you're out. And listen, if you have, have a tear tickets, suit, if you have tickets to the early show, and you have to come to the late show, we will change them for change you. Change it. If that I'll works out, him. we will do that. We will do that. I mean, theory. I don't know who Where's he's talking about. Uh, uh, it's, uh, he says Detroit. Where we're... He, he did say we have to go out of town for the wedding, but uh, how far is out of town? And is it same day day? It probably is. It can't. It can't be like get back in town. Question for the week. So here's the question for the weekend. Well, here's where you fucked up. Well, it's not you fucked up. My wife's cousin is like her closest cousin to getting married. So it's like I know, but it's her cousin. Can you uh, can you lie to your wife? I don't think can that's the way to go. Better, can I it think be you a empower better? the wife to tell her to tell you to skip the wedding. There's no way. Elders of your uh, n- neither one we're so neither one of us has a normal relationship with a woman. You know what I mean? And so and so elders if you're in this position if there's no way you could could you in a similar position with your wife be like, "Hey, I had let's say your your Atlantic City trip." I'm right? going to see it's fucking Taylor Swift. You That's know, right. I know she's I'm, important to you. Yes, yeah. Stuff and Elvis, like, we, stuff Elvis would like. Five hundred bucks on the tickets. <laughs> I'm a little easier ticket than Taylor. But let's say it's for yeah, something. Yeah. You're going to see a Jimmy Buffett cover band with yeah. your with your boys in Atlantic City. They've God, they've God. all they've all been they've gotten time off from work. You have a very generous boss that will let you take unlimited vacation time, provided yeah. we're not on tour so or recording at the time. Um, and so. What could you we could you say? Hey, me and the boys have had this on the docket. What do you think? It would depend. I think I like. I probably could mm, get out of it, but I probably personally would not. It wouldn't be worth it to like campaign yes. for to campaign well, it depends, for. But it depends how much you are looking forward to this of, fucking race. Right. You got to use a lot of husband PTO on this one. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the thing. It's a. You could do it, it you. but you're gonna be making it up to her. And look, let, I'll be honest with you, man. If you've seen the special, <laughs> I got maybe 15, 20 new minutes. I'll do 20 minutes of crowd work. You're gonna see 20 minutes that were on the special. Yeah, you were gonna right? see it before the special was recorded. And, and it was gonna be after. way more special at the time. It was gonna feel cool. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you, man. This ain't the show to ruin your marriage over. It's gonna be good. No one's gonna be mad. We're gonna enter. It's gonna be entertaining. I'm gonna do more crowd work. People seem to like crowd work. We're, How about getting a friend? Where are we playing in Detroit? What's the what's the re- venue called? I think it's a venue that actually you can. It's not like one of these big theaters. You can actually. I think it's a music venue the where you're Fillmore. Yeah, the Fillmore. You're kind of near the crowd. I'm it's, there in April. Have you been there before? No. Pull up. Let's see what the pictures look like. I'll tell you. Let's see what this venue looks like. If I can do crowd work in it, it might be worth it. Okay. Looks nice. Looks nice. Looks pretty nice. Fillmore's got a classic name, even though it's all the San Francisco Ooh, that is nice. Damn. Okay. Yeah, my, it's going to be Looks a good like show. It's a great place to do Molly under a <laughs> chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, whatever, dude. Um, look, I'm just going to be honest with you, man. It ain't going to be my most groundbreaking stuff. <laughs> Okay. Dave Chappelle performed there. I mean, okay, that's nice. That's nice. So you let him off the hook easy. Yeah, it's like the the thing. You're probably gonna get too drunk, and get thrown out anyway. Yeah, and also, yeah, the boys on a on a on a casino weekend actually sounds like some of the worst audience members yeah, possible. You just actually don't want them there. Yeah, man, love your wife. Stick with her. 
Um, but yeah, dude, it's like you have to decide. You you could get out of it, but you will have to use some husband PTO. And PTO. Uh, um, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you here. This is I, a tough I just one. don't think that that husbands and wives, boyfriends and girlfriends, should have to go to these weddings of people that are unconcerned. It's this idea that you have to take your date, this person you're with. When it's like, they, why would they want to waste a night, too? Did, did he say if his wife is, like, very, close very with the cousin. wants him to go? She, I know she's close, but, like... Right, right. He didn't say if she really wants him there. Just that it's mm, supposed to be there. There's a plus interesting. one. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, you, you could talk to her about it. I mean, does she really care? But here's the other thing. She might not care, but it's also a big, like, people are going to ask her why your husband's not I there. I guess so, but, like, I went to Joe List's wedding and Sarah's. And it's like... Uh, Great wedding. Yeah, and I had a girlfriend at the time. Like, why didn't you bring a girlfriend? And it's like, why my answer is because all my friends are here. <laughs> but you're not <laughs> so instead a I regular motherfucker. I should babysit someone who barely knows anybody? <laughs> Your brain was cooked in like a we nice a stew blast. by so the Jews true. until you were 18, 19, 20. And then you immediately started being a doorman at the comedy store. Yes. You went from one extreme to the other. True. You're a fucking strange guy. And I know what you're saying. That does make sense. And it was fun as shit. It, and was it probably so would have been less fun. It would have been less fun. If you had a, but what's his vibe, right? Like, Sometimes you, li I know this is. Sometimes you like the family you married into, and maybe he's a fun guy. Maybe what if he's the wedding fun guy? And they're like, "Where's fucking like, Danny? What the fuck? Where is he? Yeah, Where yeah. Because he sounds like a fun guy. So you're gonna have to think about this. Does your wife really want you there? How much does she want you there? And it, and is it worth making a sacrifice? And it might be. It's it's what you have lined up sounds like a fun ass weekend. She to be will honest. get over yeah. it. I mean, I do it. I've done it for two decades where I'm like, I'm actually booked on the road that week. I can't get out of it. That's right. My, that's my work. And they go, I understand. That's different. That's it work. is different, but they can get over it. Yeah. It's not like you had work that week and you, you didn't come to my fucking brother's wedding and he'll never let me live this down. And, and here's the other thing. They get over it. Here's the other thing. You can also spin it as like the guys took their time. Like the guys took time off their job. Like I'm we've letting made everybody plans. down. I it's don't know the what to second do. He re the comedian rescheduled once. So, like, everyone had to kind of reschedule plans and reshuffle. We really were looking forward. It's not, hey, babe, if this was a regular, if this wasn't a rescheduled date, I'd be there. You have a little stuff to talk about here. And it's a matter of, like, do you want to arm yourself with that yeah. and sacrifice what you must sacrifice? Or do, would you rather, you know, take the coward's route like El Sula? Also, is there an open, <laughs> is an open bar? Oh, true. You got to know the specifics. How cool uh, is this yeah. wedding going to be? How cool is the wedding? Is it going to be a really cool wedding? And like do you like her family? Are there gonna be, is it going to be karaoke? Cash bar automatically. Is there going to be a caricature artist uh -oh. where it makes you play baseball <laughs> with a <the> big head? <laughs> yeah. Because I've been to some great weddings. I've been to some dog shit weddings. Dog shit weddings suck. And there's some weddings where it's like, yeah, like, you know, Joe's was great. Mark's was great. I think weddings need an overhaul. What are you thinking? Like, Okay. It's a celebration, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Eldest is wedding, by the way. Sorry, Eldest. No, all good. It was also fucking awesome. Um, it's a celebration. Yeah. That's what it is. So when I think of celebrations, I don't ever think of linens on a table. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not the way I celebrate. If if you did uh, The Beacon and you went, or, or, or fucking six fucking shows the lyric. Right, right, right. And it's like, let's celebrate. Let's let loose. It's not, let's all sit down and assign seating. <laughs> right. And fucking right, have right. turkey. Right, right. You know? That's true. It, now, it's, it's, let's put someone on an iPod. Let's rage a little bit. Yeah. We'll all come over, play video games, watch some dumb yeah, fucking yeah, YouTube yeah, videos. Yeah. It's like, it needs an overhaul to what celebration is. I'm with you there. I think, and that's what our, our friend here is, wedding was great because it was like we had a small dinner and then it's like we went out to two awesome bars great we got fucked up great it was like, let's get fucked up with the boys let's get fucked up let's fuck it you know and you know and it was it was great it was like the best version that because you're right it should be what you normally do to celebrate but the best version of that you've rented out you rent out you've a nice rented place it exactly. out. You, you know what i mean like you're if you getting like dancing, a nice have some dancing on the side right 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 let's right. do some dancing absolutely yeah joe's wedding was nice hey here's a box of cigars that's fun that was awesome Mark's was fucking he that, Marks that was little bomb. that setup they had was awesome dude yeah we, well, we walked up and down the street that's like a fun activity yeah yeah the best was so yeah what's that i went to one Okay. In private, so I won't say who. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell me after. They rented out a sleepaway camp. Ooh, that's fun as shit. Three days. We had a scavenger hunts. We had the blob, which you jumped. Yeah, we had a friend who rented a nice house 
and, and like a big house and basically did that. Had Let's like a nice weekend, weekend, had a party. That's bomb. So, it's like everyone needs a vacation. This will be it in honor of our dumb love. Yeah. My cousin had a great vacation. Like she had her, her eldest actually went to this wedding just because we were in Greece together. Yeah. And it was a great. The production? It was, what's that? production of grace together yeah yeah we went to yeah he pl i played danny zuko okay nice um he played rizzo um we uh no it was in greece and it was like she fucking rented out a boat and we went like fucking beach cruising and then we like and then we had like a, a night of like the traditional wedding dancing all this other shit and then we had a final night where it was like in the village that she grew up in uh, our friend had a re had a restaurant. We just had like a nice meal. It was fucking great. So if it's like a fun wedding with cool stuff, you have to weigh how fun the wedding is. Yeah, dog shit wedding. Maybe take the, you know take what I mean. Like just come over, dude. Come to the. It's fucking like the end of glorious bastards. Like, but your superior said you couldn't do it. He'll fi he'll like fire. He goes, nah. He'll be sore, but he'll get over yeah, it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna yeah, carve a swastika yeah. on your head. Yeah, that he'll was definitely awesome. be sore. I mean, like she'll be sore at you. Yeah. But if it's if it's divorceable or is it just like she's yeah. mad for a week? Yeah. <laughs> Can you make it up? So anyway, we'd love to see you. Keep your expectations low as to the quality of the show. Let me reiterate that. Yeah. Uh, I won't have written any. You. I'm about to take. I've taken I'm January. It is January, and I've January. taken the month easy. Yeah, it you is know? January. You know, we just got done. Uh, just got done down, skiing, down okay, getting tub. jacked off in the hot tub. And in yeah. fact, why don't we go down for a second? Sorry, let's go get jacked off by Eldis in the hot tub again. Oh, Eldis, <laughs> you feel the double hander? <laughs> <laughs> the Greek tweak? <laughs> Come uh, on, buddy. That's going to do... Uh, yeah, you want to plug some dates? Some. I'll be some, there. Uh, my big dates are... Uh, well, January already happened at the Palace of Fine Arts, but uh, the, the yeah. three, three shows of the Wilbur in Boston Hell is big. Yeah. Toronto in April's big. 420 yeah. in Austin's big. Ooh, baby. Go to Ari... What is Ari Ari Shafir. Shafir. Com, which is a whole wrong side of history tour. You Ari Shafiropoulos. Aristotle Shafiropoulos. Shafiropoulos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go see him live, folks. Uh, come to... I'm starting a new podcast. Oh. You'd be tripping. Stop. We'll be You'd on be there. be tripping. I love it. I'm there. Um, and uh, we will be in uh, Detroit, Grand Rapids, and Dallas making up some dates in the coming weeks. Like I said, you know, not going to be. I'm not. I don't have new material, guys. I just fucking put out a special. I didn't think these shows were going to happen. I got COVID. Are the you plan was to not. To get over it? Yeah, I'll just, it'll be a lot of crowd work. What was your Resolution. Oh, <laughs> get ready to hear that a lot. Oh, yeah. Get I do, ready I do to hear that, that a lot. What resolutions you got? What, you, what, is yeah. what you got? Come armed with your New Year's resolutions, oh, folks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck, we'll bring Eldis up. He'll, Eldis will be on a unicycle juggling for 10 minutes. We're yeah. going to teach him little fucking halftime show tricks. Bouncing a ball on my nose like a seal. <laughs> I can't wait for 30 years from now until you get like older and wiser and we start calling you elders. Elders. <laughs> elders Sula. Yeah. Elders the elder. Beautiful. That's it. All right. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Oh, one last thing to plug. Go ahead. I think Danny Brown and Billy Strings should do an original song together. I okay. think it would fucking rule. Please, that Danny Brown, Billy Strings, not exactly get it together. a plug. It's different genres completely. It's psychedelic. Uh, I don't know Billy grass, Strings, and it's ra he rules, and it's psychedelic bluegrass. You'll love it. It's okay. a fucking concert. So just a fucking turn up. You guys get together. I don't know how great it'll be, but I will love it. All right, Ari would like to any is soliciting. Two music artists that he'd like to see collaborate. Yeah, I we're we're big Danny Brown found Danny Brown fans on this pod, that's for sure. Uh, but anyway, that's gonna do it, folks. Thank you. We'll see you next time.